It's time. Now, Resinox, I do mighty appreciate the 25 gifted subs right at the end, getting a, uh, the last couple of people in the pool, the, the name pool for this, uh, for this here. I do. Oh, no. Chat's going to be double audio. You got to turn this shit off. All right. Should be good now. Let me turn on the game audio. Yes. We are playing Battle Brothers Legend. Which is not normal Battle Brothers. Uh, this is like Battle Brothers on like crack cocaine. It adds a ridiculous amount of content as well as adding layered armor like Exanima style and a bunch of new modifiers, new enemies, new moves, new weapons, new armor, new events. It adds, it's basically a game sized expansion. It's a ridiculous. And like a couple months ago, it got the beta patch that was posted publicly for their new, uh, for the newest expansion, which came out like a year, like about a year ago, it feels like. Uh, it's technically been available on their Discord for ages, but I wanted to wait until it was considered publicly releasable because I thought it would be the most, uh, the most, you know, stable. I've since updated to what is currently the newest version on their Discord, just to make sure I don't have anything. Cause some stuff's been like disabled and removed because it's uh, like unbalanced. So I, I updated to the newest version on their Discord channel to keep stuff, you know, balanced, as balanced as it could be. Cause there's some stuff that's like really strong. Uh, Zesty Avian with tier two, five tier two gifted subs. That's like, I assume the only time people gift tier two subs is if they did it by accident. <laughs> I hope you did. I hope you did not accidentally gift tier two subs. But if you did, tell Twitch because I can't help you. Thanks. Glue, glue ball with another five. Hey, chat, can I play the fucking game? No, it's just gonna be like a thing. Cause you know, I was having fun. This was a fun thing until glue, glue ball came in. And now it's starting to piss me off. Like, it, it was funny until Dade started doing it. <laughs> now, I'm getting, now I'm getting like angry. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, Taffer Gate. Oh, you can't make me say that. Uh, tomato feels weird, man. Thanks. Taffer Gaming for the five gifted subs. But yeah, Battle Brothers Legends, very difficult. I'm going to start setting up my campaign. There's a fun. All right, chat. So I'm playing on legendary difficulty for combat, which means I'm going to be playing on beginner difficulty for the actual thing. The campaign start we're going to be using. There's a lot of them. And a lot of these are really cool, like Warlock means that I start as a necromancer, which means I can resurrect folks from that die. I can like summon the undead. Uh, we're gonna be playing, however, with random solo, uh, because I think it's the most interesting for, I think it's the most streamable because I don't get a, basically in a lot of these things where you get a custom character in a start, you are locked in squad size. The starting warlock is locked to a squad size of four and he has to level up and take talents that boost his squad size so we're taking random solo because it means i have an uncapped squad size which means i can take 27 chat members into the game at once very large amount of people in the game at once with this mod it's you in the base game it's locked to 12 v 12 or maybe 16 v 16 uh legends locks battles to 27 v 27 so yeah fights can get fucking big in this game all turn-based so uh yeah it's a lot it can end up getting pretty ridiculous um we're gonna be naming our company <clears throat> just just preemptively pathetic pov just getting it out of the way now early and our flag is gonna be of this boar Pogging. Borpog. 
late game crisis is gonna be random. We'll never see this. <laughs> I'm just going ahead and telling you now, we're never seeing this. Uh, basically, late game crisis is what the late game event of your uh, campaign will be. It can be stuff like nobles fighting each other. So there'll be like a war between factions. It could be green skin invasion, which means that uh, like orcs are going to swarm or goblins, one of the two, I think, or both are going to swarm the world of man and kill everyone they see. Undead scourge. All these suck. Holy war. Uh, they're all awful. The good news is we'll never see any because we'll be long uh, dead by then. We'll be long dead by then. So this is going to make me look like a loser, but this is quite literally how it has to be. Basically, the way I've always played this on Legendary is that whatever this is set at, you want to set the opposite. So if this is at beginner, you set this to Legendary, right? Because you, I genuinely am a firm believer that this game is unbeatable on Legendary Legendary. You can't do it. Um, it's fundamentally impossible because of how the scaling works. This game, the, the, they don't do that. No one can do that. <laughs> the math does not check out. You cannot do it without playing like perfectly. So if I'm playing on Legendary difficulty, I'm playing beginner economics. Uh, you'll, you'll see that it's fair. Once we get in, you'll you'll understand. Basically, uh, with the beginner economics, contracts will pay me more. There'll be more recruits available, which means more opportunities for you guys to play. Uh, and I need money to hire you, of course. So that works out for me. 100% heal and repair rate outside of camp. Uh, prices are 5% better when buying and sale selling. Um, now, I know that sounds like I'm cheating, but let me explain legendary difficulty in Legends mod, because this is not the base game. Your opponents will be brutal. This is where legends are forged. Every enemy gains a new series of perks. Zombies have poisonous bites that basically permanently kill you if you get bitten by them uh, one time. Uh, battle forged orcs, yep. Overwhelming barbarians, crippling goblins, underdog, backstabber thugs, fearsome vampires, yep. It basically turns everything into, it's, it's Blood Moon Darkest Dungeon, right? It's the hard mode of Darkest Dungeon, but even harder. Now, that's why I'm playing on beginner economics, is because it's going to be so hard in combat that the only way I'm going to be able to survive is by having the income so pumped up that I can, like, recoup my losses when I lose 10 people in a fight, which will just happen. Okay. If I don't play on beginner economics, then I have to bring legendary down to expert and bring economics up to veteran. That's basically the only other way we do it because uh, otherwise it's too difficult. Starting funds is high by default. I keep it that way. I'll get like $6,000 with lone wolf start, which is like necessary because I have to arm an entire squad. And it's a lot of money. It's a ton of money but it's good for streamability, which is why I'm keeping it like that. Trust me, I'm gonna get fucking killed anyways. Uh, it, it, it's worth it just to be safe. Iron Man is disabled. We sort of do honor rule Iron Man. Um, there's a couple things that will force me to reload, such as starting a fight with anyone and my character spawning at the bottom of a mountain and their team on the top of a mountain. This game doesn't have any re-rolling maps. And that means sometimes you can start a fight and logically in like, we were talking like, in real life, you start a fight with someone, you would probably not start a fight with someone if they were at the top of a hill, right? You would say, mm, I'm gonna wait, if I'm initiating combat, I will wait until they're not at the start, like at the top of a hill. I will wait till they come down. But in this game, you can just say, ah, yes, I'm fighting goblins. Uh, I'm not going to start a fight with them at the top of a hill if I'm the one initiating. If I'm ambushed, everything goes. However, if I'm initiating the fight, I don't know about that one, but you do you. Have you played Battle Brothers? <laughs> I, I feel like the only people right now that are like, dude, you shouldn't do that, have not played Battle Brothers enough to understand that being downhill in a fight against goblins on legendary difficulty is quite literally an instant kill. We're all dead. Yes. Well, then you haven't played it enough. <laughs> Sorry. 
you haven't played it enough. If you firmly believe that my this rule is bad, you have not played You are outing yourself as having not played it enough. Uh, unfortunately. Now, this will probably become less of a thing uh, late game, but again, a lot of my rules that I've made for myself um, are put in place for streamability. Uh, goblins will hyper wipe you uh, if you start a fight with them and your entire team has to climb a mountain to get to them. You will lose. You'll just fund it. You'll just instantly lose the game. So uh, yeah, we're at it. I've added in some things uh, that will, some some rules for myself that will, uh, that will basically result in me reloading if it looks like we're just fucked and it's a full team wipe because of RNG. Because again, I don't pick where our team starts. And if we just start all down a mountain and it takes us five rounds to get to an enemy, uh, we've lost. Twitching Pickle, thanks for the 30. Gifted subs, very kind of you, very kind of you. Now it won't happen much chat, uh, that reloading thing. But basically that'll cause a reload. And if my character is instantly shot in the first round with an arrow as the avatar character, and I permanently die, then that's a reload as well, because that's just not fun. Um, those are the only two instances. If I get shot by an arrow mid fight, that counts simply the first round. If I get initiative cheesed and instantly killed, which will only ha that only has a chance of happening at the very beginning, really, um, that I would probably reload, but that's it. Fiji Pickle, thanks for those 30 gifted subs. Very kind of you. I've only had that happen one time, so probably not going to happen. That one's more of like a just disclaimer. That and if an NPC on our team that joins a fight that I don't have control over, shoots their bow with the intent to kill something and they friendly fire my team and instantly kill someone. That is up for debate. Depends on what happens. Depends on the outcome. Because uh, if I lose a fucking good character because an NPC AI t like guy friendly fires one of us and instantly kills us, that's a reload. If it's a good enough character that I like will freak out if I lose them. All right. Hang on, I, I, I'm not like upset. I'm just trying to like read uh, the the dialogue, the, the conversations. I think in this case, tomatoes referring to attacking a mobile group of goblins. Well, what I'm referring to, you, you guys will see. I, a lot of people are like, I don't know, dude, about that gob, like the the uh the whole downhill uphill rule that I've made. You'll understand later. A lot of people clear, I don't think understand. Um, you'll, I'll show you an exact example in game and then you'll be like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> don't worry, you'll understand. Hopefully it won't happen. Maybe it'll never happen, but you'll get it once it happens. Uh, I'm gonna be turning up settlements to like 35 and factions to five. This will give us more options of stuff to raid because we won't have everyone hate us if we raid someone. I like just having higher settlements and factions for that purpose. Uh, it makes the game a tiny bit easier, but I think considering I'm playing on legendary and it's hard, tough as nails, incredibly difficult, I think it's fine. Uh, Hole the Clown, thanks for the tier two, 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, Hole the Clown. My God, fucking hell. And music for sad people gifting another 10 gifted subs on top of it. It's still happening, chat. The fives have gone up to tens. They know how to count. They've learned how to count even higher. Thanks for the accidental tier two gifted subs. Everything else remains default. However, I do tick all trade buildings available, which simply ensures uh, there is at least one of each trade location building on the map. This just, I just like having that because otherwise you can just get a scuffed map with terrible trade options and it just doesn't, doesn't feel good. <laughs> so I, I just naturally tick that one. Unexplored map. Uh, I don't need to know where everything is right away. It's just better this way. There's some things you just tick because it's gonna be better this way. Battle sisters all uh, just means that female characters can spawn. That's a legendary only thing. That's a legends mod only. Uh, banned or timed out? Timed out. If you die and you are a named character, uh, you will be timed out for three days. You need to know now that if you volunteer 
and you must volunteer. I don't just take your name because you said hi. I take your name because I said, say it, say you want to join. And then you said, I want to join. Three days? Yeah. Everyone's got to know now. Chat. I've always thought that the chat permadeath stuff, the stakes have been too low. All right. It's a three day timeout. Do VIPs get weighted? We'll fucking see. We'll fucking see. Now it goes, it goes without saying, some people are gonna really eat shit today, but it's not, I'm not gonna be, I'm telling you now, as we do this, I am not intending on any situation. I will avoid every possible situation right now where I just send someone to die. I'm going to try as hard as I can to avoid that, okay? So don't worry. I'm not going to be basically grabbing someone and saying, you're gonna be timed out for three days in five minutes. And then like doing that. Like if I, I would even say that if I fun, if I had to grab someone and throw them out to die for the rest of the team, that may be grounds to reduce the permadeath duration. Like genuinely, that's like, that's the one thing is that if I had to sacrifice someone, it might end up being like a one day timeout instead. But otherwise, if you die in combat from natural causes, because you like just died and it wasn't some like heroic event, uh, you'd be timed out for three days. Hold the clown with another 15 tier two gifted subs. Hold the clown, are you pressing the wrong button? Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Everything else remains default. Everything else in here remains default. Now chat, last thing before we get in. Lone Wolf means that my character is an avatar character. That means I will be naming him as myself. And if he dies, the campaign ends. Um, on top of that, I have five rerolls because my camp, my Lone Wolf can be terrible. And I'm stuck with him for the entire campaign, even if we end up doing really well. And that means over time he will go from being a bad character to being the worst fucking character ever because I don't have any control over him. So I get I get a couple of rerolls to try to get a better start here. Okay, so we basically reroll the campaign and hope over the course of five that I don't get cripple five times, basically. Because you can just get, you can get, oh, he doesn't have arms, which uh, doesn't really extend very well to a character, you know, <laughs> in this game. His stats will be uh, unfortunately busted and I'll be stuck with them for the whole game. So, um, yeah, that can just happen, unfortunately. Space Station 13 start? Yeah, it's happened. Does this mod make the game harder? No, start the game. We have five rerolls. I have to settle on a character within five rerolls, Chet. Between five rules, I must find a, an avatar that I find acceptable. Now that could mean they're a good class or their stats are good enough that I can accept them. One or the other. And if by the fifth one I have not found anything, then we have to settle on the shithead at number five. In beef. Oh yeah, no, no, we could absolutely get five terrible classes chat. Or we could get like a wizard, which exists. We could get a wizard. Five isn't too much. Dude. All right, chat. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to put this out as a general statement. Unless you can prove to me. I'm not trying, this isn't supposed to come off as mean. Unless you can prove to me that you've played this game for 80 hours and half of that time has been spent in Legends, you are no longer allowed to say things like, dude, <laughs> isn't this too easy? The pathetic POV. Life is a funny thing, leads you in all sorts of directions. Your life up until now has been filled with twists and turns, but it is about to get a lot more interesting. Armed with only gold and your wits, you must set out alone. Okay, the character always looks this cool, chat. The question is, when we press I, will they be decent? Ooh, ooh, ew, ew, ew. Oh. Ah. 
We go again. <laughs> One down, four to go. That character was awful. We go again. We're looking for two stars on skills. It's a bad sign when I load that quickly. Here we go again. Will this one be better? Ah! <laughs> actually, technically, chat, Inventor can actually be okay. Hang on, let's not let's not throw this one out just yet. We gotta look at all their stats. We can't just look at some stuff. He's got archery. It's not great. It's terrible. Their future is terrible on stats, but it can be counteracted by their character having decent professions, because some of the stuff can end up being really good. Inventor. Having spent most of his life in and around Schiffbauen, covered in books, conducting various experiments, and creating all sorts of contraptions, Kurt eventually turned his eyes towards knights, soldiers, sellswords, and brigands, and others that live and die by the sword. Perhaps his knowledge could be applied to their circumstances. Could he possibly become a great, a great fighter himself? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. This guy would be put in camp. No, I, I have to take my avatar into every fight. That's, that's a rule. So, um... Tempted and intrigued by his own thoughts, he wasted no time setting out to look for a mercenary company that would consider taking him. What could go wrong? Plus 20% experience gain. Now this does say our future stats. Basically, we can look down at the bottom here and see what if we were made to be level 11 and we took exactly everything that every single level gave us, that's what our projected stats would be. And our projected initiative and fatigue I mean, initiative's trash. Bow stats, if we took everything in bow for 11 levels, we would be between 61 and 71, which is terrible, technically. <laughs> Unless we have good perks for it. Now, because we're an inventor, we get some inventor exclusive perks. Uh, at the end of the game, we'll get stuff that boosts, like, our ability to give people prosthetic limbs to replace their body parts which could technically be good. But no, this character is pretty much dog shit. Ooh, that's good. He can, he bleeds more. Oh, that's good. He's scared of the undead. Hey, I'm scared of this challenge. I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm scared of playing with him as my character. We go again. Three more rolls, baby. Chat, here's the good news. If I then instantly kill my character, I get to do another five rolls. <laughs> Everyone join me in prayer. Everyone join me in prayer. Now for the record, I'm not gonna do that, but technically I could. Let us pray for a character. I would take anything as long as they come with either gear don't suck or like interesting. Marquis Cat, thanks for the five. Gifted subs, very kind of you. And Dem Daggles with $25. Hi, hope you're having a good day today. My day was pretty good, smile. Thanks for asking, smile. Enjoy the rest of your day, smile. There was many smiles in that. I appreciate that. That made me happy. Anyways. Ah! Ah! <laughs> So we're getting down to the wire right now. Really not good so far. Lumberjack is not terrible, but I I'm just eyeballing it right there. Not great. Not great. Two more real rolls here. Lumberjack ain't good. Ain't bad with good stars. Yeah, but their stars were bad. <laughs> the stars are so bad. Chat, we're not going to get characters with good stars, okay? The futures of these characters hinge solely on their professions and talents. Please, God. Yo! Yo! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -beep this character is good. And they come with a, they come with stats. Uh, they're not terrible. They're probably the best we're going to get. They're solid. Now, if we rolled again, we could get like a custom, like unique class, like wizard, or we could get trash. Frankly, I would rather just take our chances with the one we already have that's guaranteed than try to roll like something that could suck. He's got a reach weapon, which means that I have a lower chance of dying. You're a gambling man. 
Ah, chat, look. If I wanted... Look, okay. If I really cared, I could easily cut the feed, pretend to do a roll, and just pick the fucking punch guy that I already got on a separate save with terrible stats with the ability to punch for 70 because of unarmed skill. But I'm not going to do that because that'd be cheating. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> I would buy it. It'd be so easy. I could just say that my feed cut out and then load up punch build. It'd be basically the filth, but I'm not going to do it. That's a backup backup if I wipe 18 times, all right? But I'm not going to do that. I promise. We're going to go with this guy. Streamer. We're doing this. What's clumsy? Clumsy means I have minus five melee skill, which is bad. My melee future is not great. However, chat, and this is actually really good, okay? The one thing that is good about this guy is that Adventurous Lord, uh, a minor noble. Tomato's life at court felt like wasting the best time of his life. To the frustration of his mother, Tomato rode out to make a name for himself and see all the wonders of the exotic world. Most of his stats are okay. And one of the really good ones is that this class has a, this, this start, this background has a good default starter range skill, which means that I can give my character an offhand in throwing weapons. Well, I could give him like a bow as an offhand and stuff like that. And he would be like able to connect shots reliably without leveling it up. 62 is enough that he can connect shots somewhat reliably. So I'll probably just give my character a bow and let him keep this as well and just like offhand swap it. It'd probably be worth doing. Also level four start. They always start at level four. But the question is, chat, before we commit, the question is, what are his talents? Because it's all well and good. Unless his talents are trash. Especially early game. Lookout. Pathfinder, it's the early stuff that matters. Colossus, gotta take that basically automatically. That's 25% extra hit points. His health is so low. <laughs> His health is so, so low. Good thing I start with decent armor. Uh, and $6,000. In the bank, a small loan. Uh, eh, rally the troops, that's a good thing to have early. I could probably take that, gifted. Taunt, Relentless. Uh, fatigue, we have two stars of Fatigue, which is good. I'm just eyeballing. Ah, this is good. Blend in. I was hoping this would be what I got as an avatar because uh, it extends my survivability by 90%. Uh, I'll be able to take this, which means hold yourself in a way that makes you seem more trouble than it's worth. Lean into trees, place objects between you and the enemy, and hide behind allies like a pussy. Uh, makes enemies 90% less likely to attack you instead of an ally. Uh, which means the odds of me getting killed go down, you know, massively. Which is what we want. Because if I die, the campaign ends. And that's not even like a rule I set, that's just how this mode works. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna take my talents first. Uh, fast adaptation. It basically comes down to Colossus. If I'm taking blend in, I probably don't need Colossus, frankly. Uh, with all the armor I have on top of it. So it comes down to taking like adrenaline, fast adaptation, or student, which boosts uh, my additional experience by 20%. I think I just take... Mm, mm. Student's good, but I'm already level four, so it's not going to feel as good anymore. Usually, usually I take fast adaptation because I'd probably give this character a sling and just make him huck rocks. And every time he misses with a rock, his chance to hit is going to increase by 10%. And you can, you can very easily get a lot of free hits just from the like flat boost you get. All these are good though. Pathfinder's good. Uh, it means I take less fatigue moving, which is important since I'm a reach character. Honestly, I'd probably take Pathfinder because that means I'm going to take less action points moving around 
Uh, and since I'm a reach, since I use reach and we'll be using a ranged attack as well. 91 melee with talent trait. Yeah, I mean, if I take gifted, I could get pretty close. Yeah, if I take gifted, I get 91 melee if I take it every level, which is probably what's going to happen. I'm going to take Pathfinder. Which will mean I take less action. Uh, I, I don't take as many actions moving. And less fatigue, which is important. For survivability. Uh, on tier 2, if an attack misses, it costs 20% less fatigue than normal, and you leave your opponent parried, lowering their defenses by one, by 10. This is also... God, this guy has a lot of really good early perks. You don't always get lucky like this. Faint's really good. Um, like, at, like yeah, S tier. I would say Faint is an S tier ability. But we need to take Gifted eventually because Gifted gives us a free stat roll, which means higher chance of getting very good stats, which is important for future proofing. Rally, I don't need Rally. <laughs> Dodge, worthless for my character, frankly. Uh, I don't want to be getting hit at all. Anyways, Anticipation, nah. Fortified Mind. It's good that I have this. I'm probably not going to take it right now, but for the future, that's good. I think we take Faint on this one. If an attack misses, it costs 20% less fatigue. We're going to miss a lot with this pike. But if we do hit, it's going to hit like a truck. Uh, and then for my tier three, I'm going to take Blend In because I feel like I quite literally have to. Uh, that's, that's required. Now let's take my stats and then we can get to top. Wow, my character, this is a... Dude, honestly... The fact that I've, I'm really surprised I got a four roll. Uh, basically, chat, this is how it works. Uh, stars imply the overall chance. It doesn't guarantee it. It implies the overall chance that I'm going to get a good roll for a stat boost. Meaning, having one star in a stat means it's a higher chance of getting a good roll. So, two stars means the odds are higher of me getting the chance to boost my melee attack by, like, four instead of three or two. So getting like zero stars on something and still getting a four roll in melee or ranged or whatever is good. Honestly, frankly, two star means it's always three. Exactly. So that I got the minimum possible roll I could get in melee. So frankly, on this character, I think we take the maximum fatigue. Keep boosting our fatigue since we're wearing armor and we'll have to continue wearing armor. Um... Melee skill. I might chat. I might just take if I get a four roll on a range skill. I think I just take it automatically since I want this character to be able to do both things. Because I'm probably going to switch him off of this reach weapon. I think I'm going to switch. I think I'm going to give him the extra for this one. And we got to do this a couple of times. Wow, this character's getting terrible melee skill rolls. <laughs> uh, well, we keep taking fatigue. Uh,. Everything else is awful rolls anyways. Do we just double up? I think this character just doubles up on both because everything else is... I mean, the ranged defense is actually... That's a good roll on ranged defense. Uh, we probably want to take one or two in that. The range defense always starts very low. You don't ever get this up, about, up above like 50 ever, even if you put all your points into it. It's just like it gives you a little bit of like prevention. Damage prevention. Wow, I am actually shocked by how good the ranged skill rolls are on this character. And how bad my melee skill rolls are. Whatever, we're, this character's gonna suck in like a fucking, in like a couple hours. But right now, he's gonna have a good future ahead of him. Lots of plus fours on him. Just keep taking these, whatever. All right. His stats aren't, his stats are good. 70 ranged means that he's going to be able to connect with stuff. But, uh, it's not incredible. He won't be as good as, like, other ranged characters. Rolled one in melee three times in a row. Yeah. It's time. Before we do anything, let's go to town and hire some men. Technically, I'm going to lose money hiring from this place because everyone here is going to charge extra because it's a nice town. But let's see if there's any good starts because we don't 
We're not hiring good characters. We're gonna hire trash and hope they're good. Day tailor. Day tailors are used to all kind of physical work, but don't excel in any. Has an aptitude for hammers, axes, maces, and slings. Thurgot would be a would be a decent purchase because he's so cheap, but he would probably be destined for death. Do uh vagabond. Don't excel in anything in particular. Cleavers, stabs, throwing weapons, wearing medium armor. We need good fodder, but we want cheap fodder, basically. Mason. Uh, physical labor, aptitude. We want guys that are below uh, 200 coins and look to be cheap and with a stat that's like milkmen. Uh, milkmen are used to physical labor. They're good with pole arms, flails, and slings. They also have a boost to gathering by 50%, which is good for camping. I would hire, I would consider hiring Thorgear the milkman, even though he's $230. Man puts his sweat into the earth to feed himself, and he feeds himself to put his sweat into the earth another day. Thorgear grew up on one of the land's many farms. Word of coming violence, however, drove him from the peaceful vocation of farming. He misses the cows, true, but Thorgear should take the mercenary's tough life with ease. Don't say it, chat. Whatever you do, I have a lot of money because of the start, but, uh... Mm. These two both have a same sort of deal, but Torgir's gonna be better at gathering, which is important for camping. Higher. And chat, now we, now we get to do this fun thing where we check a stat, a character, now that we can, now that we've paid for them, and see if we, like, paid for garbage. You know, you know, tier two armor this early ain't bad. That's actually not a terrible character. He's not gonna last forever. He's gonna be a frontline bitch, but he's not awful, which means he's going to be labeled as a title of not awful. Don't let get killed too early. Basically titles are used so I Hang on chat, I haven't used a title on like a solo game, but I do want to start using them. Is title what appears in the fights or is their name gonna appear in the fight? Cause I want their name to appear, I, appear. I just need their title available so I know their shit. I, gotta, I can't remember. Both, okay, both, okay. So I'll make sure both appear so I don't get like overwritten stuff like an XCOM. All right chat, who wants to be Torgir? A not terrible character, not great, not terrible. Kermel. Kermly. Kermly the not awful. Everyone's gonna get a title that will alter as I uh, figure out what their character's purpose is. <laughs> right now, Kermel is simply not awful. Wow. It actually pisses me off that you got like five fucking ranged abilities and your ranged skill is fucking terrible. That's actually like depressing. Whatever, you have stuff that'll work, even though your fucking talents are really busted and weird. You'll, you'll function. It's just too bad that you have like a lot of really good sling talents and no sling skill. If your character dies, you get banned, correct? Correct. Smile. Definitely. All right, we need more men. We've got Ulf here, who's a rat catcher. Quick reflexes, throwing weapons, slings, and spears. Very cheap, so there's a good chance we'd get lucky. With perhaps misplaced pride, Ulf fashions himself as a man of the sewers. He grew up in Widenfest, surviving in the alleys. His fallen brother's body was eaten by rats, forging an angry future of rodent revenge. But Widenfest appears, wears on people, and it wore on Ulf like a giant nibbling creature. Trusting his rat whispering skills, Ulf now seeks to perhaps graduate his skills from rats to dogs and maybe humans, so he says. He doesn't appear to know what he's in for, but perhaps it's best not to tell him. Ew! Ew! All right. 
there's no takes these back these on volunteering. If you go volunteer and then you see my stat reaction, you are not allowed to uh, take these back these. So uh, I'm actually scrolling up to where people were volunteering before they saw the stats. Uh, okay, let's see here. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone that immediately said never mind when uh when they saw the stats. Pickle Inspector. Perfect name size, Pickle Inspector. Oof. That's what we're gonna put anyone everyone that sucks that's destined for death, uh, gets their title named Oof. You're destined to die. You're absolutely not going to be around for very long. Let's look at your perks. Another guy with sling stats, despite not having any sling skill. Basically, dude, your job. Wow, I can't believe how oh, shit you are. <laughs> hey, but they're talented and they've, they're seductive and they're in good spirits. You're so fucked. You're so fucked, Pickle Inspector. You're fucked. We want to get like seven guys. Uh, Day Taylor have a good chance of being decent. Uh, we don't want to hire anyone that's above like 200 or so. Louis the Loyal uh, Apothecaries. These guys are good because they're good at gathering. They're, they'll have helpful camp stuff. Uh, so we want to take one. We'll hire Louis. Louis has searched far and wide for curative ingredients. Unfortunately, there were accusations of witchcraft. Nobody knows the truth behind the story, but Louis did not last much longer at the church. Years of solitude and prayer have left Louis out of shape, but his quick hands, but it is his quick hands that are the most valuable. Higher. Anyways. <laughs> you know, you can't get can't win them all, huh, T Fark? <laughs> can't win them all. Can't win them all. Not great. And he's short, too. <laughs> See, chat, here's the thing professions like this have one fucking other possibility of existence, but it's not yet. Uh, but eventually. People like this, herbalists, have a chance of being a camp bitch, all right? Meaning, your future, t -Fark, may not be doomed. If you survive long enough, you may eventually become camp bitch and simply live at the camp forever and never be allowed to leave. Your job will be medicine guy. But that's not yet. Right now, you have to fight. Uh... What's going on here? Peddler. We need to go to the next town. Everyone sucks here. I don't like any of these other starts. Thurgot would be cheap. Oh, fuck it. Hire Thurgot. Working on and off, Thurgot is known as a day tailor. Someone to ask whenever an extra hand is needed. Thurgot wanted to do something he had not done before, so a traveling mercenary company seemed a good opportunity to stay with for a while. He's so fucked. Oh, by the way, technically, you can press try out to look at their stats before hiring them, which means that like later game, you can check someone's stats for like paying money and wasting money. But early game, it doesn't matter how shit they are. Their job is to be a body shield. But it's unbelievable we haven't gotten anyone with re decent range skills so far. Uh, is really like sad. Oh my God, they're all bad. Everyone I've gotten is like bad, bad. Like destined to be trash. Negative six range defense. Are you trying to catch the arrows in your mouth? Awful lot of oofs so far, and one not awful. All right, gentlemen. Uh, I'm not gonna bother clothing any of you because you're all fucked. Matter of fact, while we go to another town to look for more recruits, I'm gonna position the streamer in the far back. Not because I'm planning on running if, if we get attacked, but because I don't want to be near you because I think you smell. Uh, I may also uh, put Kermel a little bit closer to the exit as well. Matter of fact, Kermel, stay back here with me. <laughs> Just in case. We're going to follow the road uh, to try to find another town. Uh, preferably that isn't a nice citadel because the odds will be higher that uh, people will work for cheap without any expectations for good pay. 
So, come on, Chad, we're gonna follow the road up north. We paused. Oh, wait, no, that was just my character stopping moving. We're gonna follow the road and try to find another town in the hopes that we will eventually find another town and find some peasants that don't know any better that will join my cause, that preferably know something about uh, archery or slings. We need some, we need like five ranged people. That's like what we're hiring for right now. Another town over here. Is it a citadel? No, it's not. That's good. Places like this are important. They're the ones we want to trade with and do stuff with because uh, the expectations for success are much lower. So, yeah, look at these people. 70. This guy's fucking pathetic. Ulv right here is fucking pathetic. After losing his wife to a fire, Ulv was forced onto the street, spending what little coin he had to drink the days away. While he seems earnest in becoming a mercenary, there's little doubt that all his time on the street and his former marriage have robbed Ulv of his best years. This guy is trash. That's why we're going to hire him. That's why we're going to hire him. You're in. You're going to be so fucking terrible. Why would I try him out, chat? I don't need to try him out. His job is to die. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna pick a chat member I don't like. <laughs> Flabby, weak and loose, has to work hard to become a real warrior. Charming though, that's good. Oh my god, this is awful. This character is the worst role I've ever had. 50, 50 default melee, but then again, that's pretty much the default for every character ever. So it's not impressive. Stay over there. Stay away from us. 35 health. Chat, this character's job is to die. Okay. <laughs> no one get too attached to him. Oh my god, I can't believe how bad all these character roles have been. We don't have a single character that's been arranged. Okay, this is a pickpocket. Aptitude with throwing weapons. There's a high chance this person has good range skill. Uh, and some good stats for um, maybe crossbows. Skilled with knives. A knife character is good because we can use them to peel armor. Off of people. That's important. Uh, taken in by a local orphanage, it wasn't long for Safira to start taking abuse from the lowly orphans. She fell back in on thieving to survive. It was the perfect heist. That's all that is said about it now. Safira just needs to lay low. You can't trust a woman like Safira, but that attribute has plenty of company anyways. Uh, hire. Or try out. I think we're at the point where we need to start trying out because if their stats don't have anything in ranged, I don't need them. Yeah, you're trash. You're not coming. We're going to start taking the tryout rolls because if they're above like 200, I don't want to hire them if they're garbage. Lootbert. Uh, after his wife's gambling addiction got the better of her, Lootbert was forced onto the streets, being beaten and resigned to his fate. Another widower. You're in. Higher. 61 melee skill to start and a two star ranged future. It's not great, but uh, by his max, by the time he's max level, ooh, he's still not great. He's not perfect, but he's better than some of the other options we've had. That puts him in the not great tier. He's going to end up being at like 75 or so, which means we're going to make him a sling boy and give him level ups for sling. Uh, that's a good name. Wungus. Welcome Wungus to the team. We want like nine people, but I can't believe not a single character has been tolerable enough at range to want to, to for like me to immediately want to give them stats. And also Flabby. Oh my God. Again, and faint-hearted. Does everyone just, like, come in to suck right now? Because this has been awful. I've spent a fucking a thousand dollars on garbage so far today. 
Maybe I just fucking hire Beekolf for a 600, for like a ton of money. Just because there's a good chance he'll be decent by default for an archer. And he comes with the bow already. I might try out and if he's good, I might just take him because we need like a decent, we need an archer, like a good one. You get what you pay for. Wrong! $116 to try out. What was this guy again? Caravan hand? Absolutely not. Wow! Hi, I'm a professional archer. Okay, have you ever shot your bow before? No. Okay, bye. Let's see if this thing wants us to do a delivery job. Eckhart the Burgomaster's got a map of a cemetery on his desk. Half the plot squares appear to have been filled in with ink. Every square you see there has been robbed. Every night they come, and every night I can't quite seem to catch them. I'm at my wit's end, so I've decided to end this once and for all. I want you to go to the graveyard and kill every grave-robbing fool you see. Got it? Not interested. We're not even clothed yet. We could... Actually, we should probably buy some gear here. Because this place is poor. Therefore, they won't charge very much money. Uh, compared to the alternatives of buying stuff at a decent place. Bows... Cheap bows. I'm gonna buy my character a short bow. And a quiver. And we're gonna buy... I don't wanna buy slings because we'll get slings from, like, bandits. I'm gonna buy some crappy wooden shields. Uh, we're gonna buy... Oh my god, I can't believe how bad our team is. We're gonna buy... Basically nothing else right now. And we're gonna give that shield to you, T-Fark. Because believe it or not, somehow you've got the best defensive stats of the team. So for now, you are distraction number one. Congratulations, T-Fark. You are distraction one. I'll be taking that bow and using it for now because I'm our best archer. In fact, for now, I'm going to keep it in my main hand. All right, we keep moving on. Fortunately, we have the money that we don't need to, like, do jobs right now, but I really need to hope next town we get some good characters because we want, like, ten people. We need, like, three more people, and ideally, we want them all to be ranged capable. Let's move a little bit faster. Fork in the road. I'd go north. Although, technically, there's more bandits up north. Seinhausen. We gotta wait till it's daytime to talk to people. A bird is perched on Detlef, the trade master's window. The man seated points at it. Wonder if that's how they got in. The brigands, I mean. I think they must have snuck through a window and then right back out. And that's how they got away with my ceremonial staff. The man slowly rises and stalks across the room. He crouches about ready to pounce on the bird, but the creature scatters before the man can so much as flinch. Damn. He returns to his seat, wiping his hands as if he'd worked up a sweat during his attempted avian ambush. My task is simple, sellsword. Bring my property back to me. Kill the brigands too, if you wouldn't mind. Let's talk pay. He takes a deep breath. Very well. This is what I, I'm prepared to offer you. You'll get 280 crowns when the contract is complete. I accept. This has helped thin our herd. Once I hire some more people, we'll go do that mission after I've clothed them with, with whatever they sell here. And uh, then all these people will die, and the ones that will survive will be given real names. Well, they already have real names, but real jobs. We'll be following that track. I've just got to wait for Dawn so I can hire. Okay, all these people are extremely affordable, and we even have some poachers. This character would be worth trying out and possibly hi Matter of fact, I'd probably hire this person automatically. Interested in the thrill of the hunt, Brunisenda took to the woods to hunt game with a bow and spear. Hailing from Steinhausen, Brunisenda was a poacher, was as a poacher, the hunter and the hunted. Fearful these pursuits would attract bounty hunters or lawmen decide to settle on a life as a bow for hire. We need people with bows at this point, even if they suck. Hire. Ah! Everyone sucks! These are the worst roles for characters I've ever gotten! 
At least you have a 50% lower chance to inflict friendly fire. Hey, that's actually pretty okay. Even though your future's whatever. We just need people with moves at this point. Give me the spear. You're not going to be using that. We're going to give this to, uh, who's got the best melee stats? Swanky pants. You're going to be spear walling. Who can I afford to watch die? Everyone, technically. Okay, next. Taco. <laughs> the Mason. Don't need him. Segoin. Messenger. Uh, Dorothea the Quick. No. Baker. No. Lutbert. No. Toast Earthside. Olav the Crawler. Now, miners might end up being pretty good in melee. But technically, we need ranged characters right now. Is there anyone that's, like, technically adept in ranged attacks? Staves, throwing weapons, no. Slings, technically Lutbert. Even though I have no... In, I don't think Lutbert's gonna end up being very good. A gate! Being a simple lass, a gate did not mind working hard in the bakery every day. One night, she was awoken by a loud thunderstorm. Rushing outside, a gate realized that her bakery had been ignited by a lightning strike. Whether by lack of alter alternatives or by her free will, she stands before you now, ready to swear fealty. Join. You better. Once, I actually am fucking staggered by how bad all of our characters are. This is like getting, this is getting nasty, chat, how bad these characters are. Well... That's an oof. That there's an oof. Barely any two-star characters in any stats. Gazo. Lago. At least you came with a bat. Not even one star. Good news is, chat, while well, we're going to lose some money on this, it's worth buying most of the people here for the intent of letting them die in the fight. <laughs> While basically naked. Maybe some of them will survive. Uh, She's got a chance of being good at crossbows, so we're going to hire Elizabeth. Orphanage story. I should probably just try them out. It's time for the legend to come to life. Great Griff. We're going to have to give them gear and keep them off the front line by any means possible. Their melee stats. Honestly, they'll end up being fairly well-rounded. Let's check their actual skills. Prisoner's Rush. Gain 12 melee skill and 40% armor penetration while using a knife or shiv. That's not good. Wait. Okay. Well, they get a lot of stabbing skills. Knife fighting, 12 damage, 4 to 12 extra damage while using a knife or shiv. I mean, they're gonna be a dagger specialist. Probably because that's what most of their skills are good for. We'll have to see. Check her traits. Oh, trust me, chat. They're good. But, uh, this aggressive thing means I definitely do want them probably using a quick... We're going to want them unarmored and very quick. Because uh, they get minus five def de defense for each surrounding enemy. Uh, we want them to be fast on their feet. Their stab already does 21 to 35. We could technically, if we take, Chad, if we take Prisoner's Rush, the armor penetration from the knife and shiv, basically this character might be really good at 
just peeling armor off of people, which might end up being their value. Essentially, we need characters with daggers. Okay. That can stab through armor to peel it off, because most of our armor is going to come from fights. And if we... In fact, I might just rename their job now to the peeler. We need a character that's separate from the group that simply runs around at maximum speed with very little armor and goes after people in the back line and peels their clothes off once they're already caught up in, like, the tar pit that is my melee. Trash characters. So they might end up being pretty good. We need two more people. Uh, I'm going to do tryouts instead. And someone was saying I didn't name one of these characters. Uh, all right. Who wants to be... Who wants to be this character since I forgot... Damn it! God damn it! Hazari! Alright. We need more ranged characters so bad. I need like three to feel comfortable ever in this game. Alright, everyone else gets tryouts to hire. Nah. <gasps> That's not great. But he's got tier 3 melee skill already. An orphan. The only work Olav could find was working in the mines of the earth. Sadly, he proved to be the only survivor of a shaft collapse. And there's no way he's digging back in there by himself. You have to wonder if Olav's lungs have enough metal dust in them to fashion a blade or two. You're in. That leaves us with 11 units, which is what I wanted to do for the start. I just wish that we had more ranged characters. I may hire one more with the assumption of letting some die, because really it's not sustainable to have this many units right now. But, uh, let's name this guy. The Crawler. The Crawler. Oh, Stuffle. Oh, Stuffle. Oh, Stuffle the Crawler. I'm actually going to do some flavor text here. Hang on. Oh, Stuffle the Crawler. Make some small alterations. All right, you're in. Actually, I want to take a look at one of your talents real quick before I send most of you to die. Starts with the pickaxe, which is trash. Um, or hunter. Allows pickaxes and hammers to crush rocks in battle. Gain 12 melee skill while using a pickaxe or 3 melee skill while using other two-handed hammers. Eh. Fucking hell, he starts at 55. What's his stat future? 85 to 95. That is a good character. Too bad he doesn't get gifted or he'd be really good. If he doesn't die, he's going to be pretty good. I'm going to hire one more with the hopes that they will say they're good at ranged attacks. But frankly, I'm not counting on <gasps> Taco, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? Taco, you son of a bitch! You're in! The re double? Oh, this guy's gonna be another. This guy's gonna be a Reach Blade and, like, Archer class. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Don't change his name. I must. It must be a chat member. Wumberjack. Right now he's average. Eventually he'll be good. 
Really just depends on what his stats say. Firearms mastery. That's good. Charming. Huge. It's too bad about his defense because he's going to eat shit in a fight. But his damage is 5% up on both. This guy has got it going on right now, chat. All right, this guy, this guy's got it going on. We're ready. Let's buy some things and then we're moving on. I might also buy this trade stuff. We can make money off of this if we buy them and sell them elsewhere. Okay, well, let's buy some weapons. Uh, we've got a short bow being sold. We will purchase it. Actually, technically, uh, take this off. Give it to him for now. Give him the pike for now. So he can do something. I don't want to buy. We don't have the extra. We don't have a extra quiver for him. So I'm not going to give him another short bow yet. There's no. Oh, we have slings, though. I hate buying slings. Give me this back. I hate buying slings. They're so cheap. I'm paying $100. There's a quiver for sale. Well, technically, I would have taken sling over the bow I, either way. But uh, let's buy some more shields. Even though, again, I shouldn't be paying for these. But if you're going to be a distraction and die for me, Gazo, you might as well do it well. You might as well do it well. You might as well die while helping me out. Pickle Inspector really needs a weapon. <laughs> but, uh... Probably won't be getting one. I don't want to... Guys, so many of these people are going to die in this fight because I don't plan on buying them real clothes. Only some people are going to be given clothes right now. Most of them are going to die basically naked. I'm buying Fish Boy... A fucking sharpened stick for his weapon. Like, that's how pathetic this group is right now. This is high tier pathetic POV. Is that I am banking on them dying anyways. I mean, not even being able to peel the like the clothes off of their dead body. So, like, you know. Why bother? Wait a minute. You're not good enough to get this, Tazari. This small bit of extra armor is going to Wumberjack. Same with this. Same with these clothes. Well, these characters look like shit. But we have $2,000 and we are doing this job. Now, I will buy an extra shank. Because, uh, shank is good. And having people with them, especially ranged characters, means that if they get flanked, they have a defense tool. Oh, wait, yeah, that would go. Sorry, Hazari. <laughs> this goes to Wumberjack. Uh, if he gets jumped, I'll cry. And O'Stuffle is another future valuable character, so I want them in the back with a shield. We don't even want them on the front line, even though they're even though they're pretty tanky. I don't want them anywhere near that. And Great Griff, the Peeler, there's a good chance they die as well. All right, chat, we're gonna lose some characters doing this, but that's just that comes with the territory, chat. I'm not spending the rest of my money. That is for later. For far more important things than these scumbags. It's time. Let's follow this path and get to work. A fresh cool breeze is, br breeze is blowing today. And you feel like it's a good time for the pathetic POV to start something new. You call the men to gather around. What do you tell them? If I say we need $2,000, it will instantly spend uh, 1,000 of our dollars to buy a battle standard for someone in the group, which is a big renown. It's a big, like, morale boost. Uh, I don't think we do that one yet. We need the money. We need to save money. Uh, complete eight more contracts of any kind to prove yourselves reliable beyond a doubt. We need to establish ourselves as mercenaries that can be relied on. That's what we take. We don't want to take something that's going to charge us money to take it. There they are. Nine. We have 12 guys. It's mostly rabble. These guys are basically naked. We can take them. But ideally, we want to take them on a tile that doesn't look like it's going to be mountains, or we're going to end up fighting them uphill and crying. All right, this is it. Right here. Right here. Ah, the thieves are quite human. 
a simple crew of vagabonds and brigands. They arm themselves as you order your men to attack. These guys are just as trash as we are, and we outnumber them, meaning this comes down to who gets the first kill, chat. Uh, because whoever gets the first kill is the one who breaks the other team. And we started uphill. Mostly uphill. Yeah, everyone's got pretty much equipped. They technically have better gear than us, so it's going to come down to our archers just owning them. So, what we're going to do is move up people like Pickle Inspector... And just sort of... These guys have to climb a hill, so they're going to take a bunch of um, fatigue loss climbing it. So I'm going to put Pickle Inspector right here. And just park him here. I don't think anyone can actually... They might actually be able to close this. Shield, spear wall just in case. He'll poke anyone that comes near him. All right. Greg Griff, I want you to start... Actually, there's no one here worth stamping, but I still want you to go wide. For now. A little bit. And then archers are just going to start opening fire. Hazari, 37% chance. That's basically how it's always going to be. Uh, if we aim well, we get a higher chance of hitting. 59%. And we're going to aim at whoever looks the most naked. This guy right here. This bandit rebel. And maybe we hit him. Fuck! That's going to happen a lot. Wumberjack, even with how good his skills are... Right now, his chance to hit is still only like 28% with rocks, but he gets to spam them. So we just spam rock th swings, and if we hit someone, uh, we will hit them so hard they basically instantly die. If we hit him again, half the people here are going to start screaming. And that's what we're going for. Go oh, again! Son of a bitch! Okay. So, what we're going to do with Swanky Pants is do a second spear wall right here. Well, basically, what's going to do is force this whole pack of guys to say, I don't want to run up to them. If I run up to them, these guys instantly stab me like Overwatch if I get too close. Uh, which will make them approach slower, which gives our archers more time to ping uh, arrows at them. So we're just going to try to claim the high ground and just park ourselves right here and wait for them to either approach or go wide, which will give us another advantage because we'll have high ground instead. That's how this game works, baby. Park everyone here. Okay, we will. Who is Sindis Trash? Yeah, he's an oof. All right, Sindis, do your goddamn job and take a swing at this bandit rabble with your shovel. You missed. That's not surprising. Your job is now simply to distract that guy so an archer can shoot over your head and kill him. Do your goddamn job and do it well. Caramel, uh, go here and just wait. And you, Wungus. <laughs> Man, I did get some good names. Wungus is not great. He may eventually be decent. But that day's not today. Wungus, I wanted to staff daze this guy. For 61% chance to hit. Not surprising, but do it again. Not surprising, this happens all the time. You, 61 means zero in this game. Unless it's over 70, it's a miss by default in this game, just for the record. Uh, these guys are going to keep trying to go wide. And that's what I want. So I'm going to tell Gazo Lago, who is an oof, uh, to stand right here. And one up. And just sort of loiter there and hope they come after Gazo Lago now. We want to spread their team, is what we're trying to do right now. Oh, Stuffle. I, I, I think I can just like scroll over them to see it. The Crawler, he's a real character. Uh, start moving slowly towards him. These guys can't move any closer because they are in an attack of opportunity. If they try to move, they're going to get it. I'm going to get a free hit on them. So they're basically glued there. So I'm going to move O Stuffle within range. So next turn, he's going to fucking bop this guy bad. And now the archers can start doing their thing. In this game, chat, you don't want to fire at people that are behind your teammates because you have a high chance of friendly firing. And with how naked this guy is, this asshole right here, the odds are high that if we hit him, he'll instantly die to an arrow. Like, my own teammate will die. So, we're going to not do that. And instead, fire at guys in the back line with over, you know, 50% chance to hit. So, if we do uh, a careful aim, that goes to 80%. But I'd rather take my chances with two 60%. Look at how much, chat, this is what I'm talking about though. Look at how much damage archery does early game against basically naked people. It is the meta. Like uh, you get archers that can hit well and like everything is, everything is fucking totally clear. Good shot, my lord. Thanks, kiss ass. You think that's gonna get you? You think that's gonna get you a name? 
<laughs> Shut up! No, thanks. That's really nice of you. Uh, Great Griff, keep loitering on the side. Oh, look at this. This is when it, this is when it starts to walk. This is when elevation starts to become a factor. Is this asshole knows better. And he's saying, fuck, dude. I'm not even going to bother climbing. I'm going to waste all my energy running all the way up here. And when he does, Great Griff is going to fucking stab him right in the neck. Easy peasy. These guys are still basically paralyzed here, which is where we're going to keep them for now. We're trying to conserve fatigue, so it's better that we let enemies come to us, which they are inclined to do because we have more archers. That's how this game works. The more archers you have, uh, the more likely the enemy is going to say, well, fuck, we can't wait here. We got to charge. And that's what you want in this game is to always outnumber the archers. Uh, so, yeah, everyone is just finishing up their turns. Wait here, Grey Griff, and everyone else, just fire. Bandit Rabble, 38%. We want to kill this guy. 73% uh, chance to hit. This will probably kill him if we hit. Bazongus. So as you can see, people are starting to waver. Uh, when that flag reaches full, uh, they will run. When it's a full white flag, they run. And they panic. Now it's time to start getting wacky, chat. All right. Actually, I don't even think I need to spend... The uh, net yet? Uh, the net is the strongest and uh, weapon in the game. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm just opening that now. Uh, you throw a net on your target in order to prevent them from moving or defending themselves effectively. Uh, if you hit someone with a fucking net, which is basically always a hundred percent chance to hit, uh, they will get fucked. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Unless someone else can get them out of the net, they're basically dead if everyone else is still around them. It would guarantee a kill on either of these two people this turn if I threw it. But we're going to save it because I have to repair it if it breaks. So I'm just going to keep this guy here in spear walling so no one can approach us. Give the archers more time to just do their thing. Look at these assholes. All right. Sling this bandit rabble. Uh, how much AP does this use? Four AP? Yeah, we want to slink from here then. Sling this weird sack guy until he's dead, Wumberjack. Until the deed is done. Slings have unlimited ammo, unlike archers. Uh, oh, there it is. Snidus is down. Snidus is already dead, ladies and gentlemen. He's not dead yet, though. Do not ban them yet. Mods, there is a chance he is still alive. But that's how quickly you can die in this game. It's that easy. It's that fast. It's that pathetic. We're going to approach this guy as swanky pants because there's a high chance we instantly kill them. Fuck. Unfortunate that it happened like that. But we're going to move T-Fark up now to help Gazo Lago. There's a chance that they survive. Sometimes they can get back up with injuries. They were not decapitated. If they are decapitated, uh, you can go ahead and ban them right away. <laughs> We're going to keep T-Fark here for a turn. There's no point putting him into melee if he can't help this turn. If he w if he moved one more spot, he wouldn't be able to attack. So we're just going to keep them there. Yeah, slowly approach. Slowly exhaust yourself. All right. Carmel is the not awful. I'd rather not lose him here. But on the other hand... We do need to thin our herd. Ah, this guy's an idiot. That's perfect. Okay, the th the, that was like a throw move right there. That guy's fucked. We're just going to fucking instantly kill that guy. Uh, all right, Gazo, you don't really have anything special about you. Just try to stun this guy. Nice. That fucks up their ability to defend themselves and attack, which is good for us. Now, Ostuffel, you are wavering. Also one of my important characters, so hopefully they don't die. Nice. Finish it! Wongus, kill the man! Take his life! Yes. And then take a swing at this guy, because we have reach. Okay, you missed. This guy's fucked. I'm going to kill this rabble. He has a shield, but I doubt he's going to be able to block. Yeah. 
I don't even want to waste the extra attack, because I feel like one of the other guys is going to be able to kill him. He's breaking. It'd probably be more scary for this team if I shot at this guy, but the chance to hit's too low. We'll kill him. Never mind, we'll miss. That's my bad for assuming that I would ever hit anything. This guy is probably going to move his way towards one of these two. But in case he doesn't, I'm going to move Greg Griff back one, actually, because I don't want them to be the target of an attack. All right. Uh, he's still got some moves left. Do I have a 100% chance to hit this guy? No. We want Pickle Inspector to do something. He's a, he's a fucking oof. You know what I mean? He should be doing something. God damn it. So we're going to spear wall and slowly move forward, and we're going to flank these guys in a minute. He's an oof. He's got to go die for me. Okay. Look at this asshole. He doesn't even know what to do. All right. We're going to give uh, Grey Griff a wait. What the fuck? That guy's fast as shit. Anyways, uh, let's move this character, Hazari, up one so that they uh, sort of cross this guy. Bada bingus. Yeah, this is perfect. Now Greg Griff can easily get that guy. All right, T-Fark, move in. Stab. We're slowly getting through their armor. They don't have much of it, but some of these guys have more than others. Goodness, this are all missing, and this guy's fucked. Uh, Wumberjack. Do the deed. Yes. Slowly but surely, we whittle them down. Uh <laughs> And now, despite having just entered the fight, this guy is now going to try to run away, killing himself in the fight. He's not even gonna, he's, he doesn't even get a swing on us. He's gonna immediately run away now, giving us two attacks of opportunity. So, we're gonna now move down and cut him off to give us three attacks of opportunity, probably killing him. Meanwhile, this guy still has yet to join the fight because he doesn't know the right path to take because every path results in him wasting a ton of energy and time. He's already warmed up and he hasn't even gotten to the fight yet. Finish him. Yes. Yes! Yes! Blood! 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 More blood! Blood! He passed his turn because he's out of energy, dude. He's got knees fatigued. He's got nothing left. More blood! Blood! Pathetic. Pathetic POV. However, Grey Griff is still not going to go near this guy because they've got barely any armor. So I'm going to make this guy approach me no matter what. Pussy, he's running. They're running. All right, boys, chase them down. Run them down, Grey Griff. Actually, wait your turn, then run them down. Let's see where this guy goes. Yeah, they're running. Okay, run them down. Run them down, kill them all. Go them all, slay them. Yes. After them. Cowards! You're nothing but cowards! Wumberjack, how do you feel about us uh, sniping these guys from this? Oh, there's no way. In a million years, there's no way. After them! Don't let them flee! Son of a bitch! They're too fast. Yeah, they, they, they have escaped. Maybe not, though. They're going downhill. That gives us an advantage on ranged attacks. The enemy retreats. They're battered and beaten. Those who still... Those who few are still alive scatter away in all directions. Will you hunt them down and claim their heads? Yes, it's extra XP. You're not going anywhere. Check this. Yeah, Great Griff caught you, boy. <laughs> Welcome in the family, son. You're going down, brother. That guy's probably going to get away. But this guy's going to take a swing at Grey Griff and miss both times because he's panicking. Yeah, this guy ain't going anywhere now. Ugh. We might be able to reach this person. Damn it. Well, we can definitely reach this guy. Oh, bitch. After him. This guy doesn't get anywhere. After him, my... My fellow battle brothers. A little bit closer and Wumberjack can take him down from here. 23% chance to hit, Wumberjack. Ah, damn it. 
There was a chance, a small chance Wumberjack did something epic right there. We had to take it. This guy's getting tired. This guy never participated in the fight. We might catch him. We might just catch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Nope, you got away. Fuck! Cindus is dead. He had just joined the company. He didn't kill one man. He didn't even hit anyone. He just fucking died. So long, Cindus. The rest of you remain essentially unscathed, chat. That's a sign of a good fight, is um, one person fucking dies and everyone else emerges with perfect health across the board. Aside from Wongus. I would say that was as good as it could have gone. Let's take a look at the loot. <laughs> not uh, not great, but we'll take anything we can get. And now that we got the item, the battle is over. You retrieve the ceremonial staff from the wasted clutches of your enemies and prepare to return to Detlef, the trade master. He'll surely be happy to see your success. Yes. We shall now return back home. Successful. And with one less mouth to feed on our team. Easy. Too easy. Let's give Swanky Pants this hat. We want everyone with hats. That's basically like... That's... That's one of the easiest things. And we want Pickle Inspector uh, with a cleaver. This is... Cleavers are the future, chat, okay? And the more people we get with cleavers in their hands... Uh, the better. The better our futures are. So we want to start... Sindus might have been useless, but he served well as a meat shield. Yes, he did very good. Detlef, the trade master, is resting his legs on two dogs. Each one passed out on top of each other. These beasts could rip my throat out, yet look at them. How does that happen? I didn't even train them. Someone else did. I'm a stranger to them, yet here they are. Okay, weirdo. Uh, no, you place the artifact on the man's table and slide it across. He leans forward, takes it, and places it under his desk. When his hand returns, he's got a satchel in his hand. He tosses it over, as promised. Good work, Settle Sword. Coins well deserved. We just walk back in and everyone's fucking dead. Like, one, one of the guys is missing. Everyone's, like, staring like they don't know what happened. I just nod and we move on. We're not doing anything else here. We're done here. Now, we've got some trade items, and that means uh, we want to go to the opposite side of the world. So, for very north, we want to go very south. And it looks like we're very south, so we want to go very north. And when we get north, we're going to sell these copper ingots for more money than we bought them for. We bought them for a uh, market price, but up north in a nice city, these copper ingots will sell for probably like 300 bucks. We'll make some extra money. Now, chat, there's five factions in this game. That means we are going to be raiding a uh, caravan soon. But for now, let's just bide our time. We want to go north. There's no more jobs for us here. Come. Farther north. Another town. Trogan shocked. Let's take a look. Another one-star job. Ralph the Elder is turning an apple in his hand. He seems frustrated with it. Almost as if he wishes it were something else, like a valuable trinket, or perhaps just a tastier fruit. Have you ever lost something you loved? You shrug and answer. There was this girl. The man shakes his head. No, not some woman. Oh, I was also lying. More important, because I had... Thieves stole my idol of fertility. <laughs> I see. How they managed to do... How they managed to get behind my guards is beyond me. But I know if I set you on them... I'll be having what is rightfully mine back where it belongs. Isn't that right? Or have I been misled as to the quality of your services? Let's talk pay. 50 crowns in advance, 90 when the job is done. Advanced jobs are always worrying because um, they typically result in a problem if I say realize I can't do the job. But I'm going to accept. Follow the tracks near Troken Shocked. Return the idol of fertility. It should probably be more brigands like we just fought. However, we want to hire a replacement back to 12. So who looks the least trashy? 
We got some apprentices. Eh, another melee. We want a ranged character. We honestly want another ranged character. Waltrud. Flails and slings. Uh, too expensive, that guy. Hammers, stabs, throwing weapons. We want someone that's specialized that can take a sling. That could possibly be. Cleavers, flails, and throwing weapons? No. Flails and slings. Child Bert. No matter the weather, a farm needs working. Childebert knows a couple of, a couple kinds of hoes, all of which the farmhand can swing with ease. Droughts, poorly timed as ever, have now driven the man from his work. If men were trees, Childebert would never fall down. Some, uh, something gracious like that. Okay. Uh, hire him. Just hire him by default. Wow, he's garbage. Who would have thought? Here's a spear and shitty buckler. Do your fucking job and die for me, scum. Scum? Who wants to be scum? Merect. All right, welcome. I don't need to look at your stats. That's irrelevant. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put you over here because you are gonna be a spear wall gate. You're just gonna like basically keep guys from coming near us. That's your job. And when you die, you die, you know? That's okay. No one will lose any sleep over that. Ooh, they're selling salt here. Chat, look, we already make more money than what we paid for those ingots, but we're gonna, we're gonna continue to hoard. And we're gonna take the salt and presumably make our money back on that later as well. Buy even more. It's worth it. And then we're gonna buy some trashy food. And now, see if there's any... Nah. Everything... Actually, that... If you can buy stuff for market price, usually you buy it. But we're gonna finish this job first because we might make enough... We might get, like... Uh, during camp, a hot meal is what a man, what any man needs. But a hot meal with a couple of a couple of sides and entrees, well, that's something else entirely. Your purchases of diverse food have made the men gleefully has the men gleefully chowing down and feeling good about life. Everyone's all happy. Although technically, all I bought was what was it, what did I buy? I bought fresh meat and grains. You guys are seriously freaking out over that. You guys are like having the time. Nine thieves. A bandit rabble poacher and normal rabble. Poachers mean sling guys or archers, so this could get dark. Someone here is... Oh, actually, this might... No, we don't really want to attack them at night. If we attack them at night, then uh, we will unfortunately most likely end up uh, worse off because we have more archers in them. Attacking at night means that archers get a big debuff. We're going to wait out the night and just tail them and then start to fight with them when it reaches daytime. When it reaches dawn. Come on, there, A attack! Catch them now, kill them! Brigands! Just as your employer thought they looked scared, presumably understanding that Ralph the Elder's well-paid wrath is about to descend upon them. Prepare to die. Trash. All right, uh, more cleavers, which is good. We're gonna need those. The archers will take care of most of this, so just everyone just wait here. Let the archers do their damn job. And hopefully, don't let that one sling guy one-shot you. If anyone dies to a one-shot sling, I'm, I'm, I, I want that to be like fucking a weak ban. Come on. 55% chance to hit. Who's the most naked man in this group? Uh, looks to be this schmuck. Ha! <laughs> Eat shit! Bitch! Eat shit! Everyone's already like, ah! Eh. Oh! <laughs> yeah! That is how you scare a team! Do that like once or twice more, and these guys are gonna be panicking everywhere. Move out a little bit and shield wall them. They can't move more than four blocks. So we stand right here. We start shield walling right there. Okay, that got. Okay, you really blew it, Swanky. Are you fucking kidding me? 
You had one job. And that was to keep that guy from moving into melee range. Swanky blew it. Are you an oof? You're an oof. Okay, I don't care about you. That's fine. That's fine then, Swanky. That's fine. Uh, hit this one. With a stun. The stun did not proc, which is unfortunate. I believe I have Kermel back here as not awful. Yeah, I'd rather Kermel doesn't die. So let's move him sort of wide here. Meanwhile, let's uh, preemptively spear wall right there with our other garbage guy and force everyone into a little funnel in the middle. Move up and distract them, Gazo. That is your purpose as an oof. Do your goddamn job as oof and stun this wench. Yes. Oh, Stuffle. We'll stand right here. I'm guessing this guy will move right here. And either he'll get put into range and attacked, or he'll move in and try to attack Oh Stuffle. Or any of these guys, honestly. It doesn't really matter. All right, move in T-Fark, who is an oof. Not surprised. And slay her. Kill her. Take her life. All right. This guy's fucked. Let's see if I can kill him in one shot. Or I'll miss. No one look. That happens all the time. No one look, though. Uh, I'm saving my net for when it looks like I actually need it. I mean, it would help out Gazo, but I'm not gonna waste my net on someone that's an oof, you know what I mean? <laughs> All of you are oofs, subhuman. Uh, Grey Griff does not approach yet. We continue to watch and see what happens with Swanky. Wumberjack, move up, take some throws at this bandit rabble. Very good, Wumberjack, very good. Merect, no! He's already dead! All right. Anyways. <laughs> no! Who was that? Pickle Inspector, God damn it! Fuck, what will we do? Anyways. <laughs> ah, kill that guy. Son of a bitch. This is, this is when we use the net uh, to huck at that guy before he can hurt our actually useful Wumberjack. There we go. He's been deactivated. And now we can take swings at him. Wumberjack may get an attack of opportunity here, which would be very bad for him. So uh, did I give Wumberjack a melee weapon? I did. It's a small shank. Let's start stabbing at this guy in his neck and kill him. And while that's happening, take her life. She bleed out? No. Oh, that is how you scare people. Look at that guy's fucking. Look at that guy's already breaking. That's how you spook someone. I mean, I sort of need to move Kermel over there, but I'd rather Marek do it. If they survive this, that is. This asshole's gonna end up getting a lucky hit on someone. It's gonna be real embarrassing for them. All right. <laughs> He's breaking. Our Stuffle has forced this rabble to break. He'll run in no time. But just in case he doesn't. Continue to hit him. Keep beating the shit out of him. While that's happening, kill this man and break their archer too. And while that's happening, move forward and make that guy break because he doesn't like being near multiple people. Chat, this is, this is the, uh, this is the morale, uh, avalanche where every single character one person breaks and then everyone's like fuck this and it all goes wrong you're watching it right now this is this is how it happens and then everyone basically throws and we've won we, they've been routed basically a couple people are left but they'll break the second they watch their other friends break as is tradition move in there and stab this person great griff stab them right in their neck yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, kill them. Kill them all. Only two people are even still participating in the fight. This guy and this guy. That guy's fucked. This guy is probably fucked as well. Sling. And Huckerock. Bonk. 
Move forward, Great Griff. And stab him as well. This guy's gonna kill himself on an attack of opportunity running away. Man, I cannot believe how, how alive some of these people are. How the fuck is this guy alive? What's his health at? Whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna turn up the audio. And take this man's life. Never mind. Okay, we'll hit that guy, which is fine. That's the point. Ooh, Great Griff actually got a bad swing aimed at them, but they're okay. This will probably scare the shit out of this guy if we hit him. Yeah, there we go. That's a guaranteed decapitation if it kills him. Uh, decap. So, uh... Yeah, that's... That's the spooky shit. That scares people quite a bit. Move Pickle Inspector up. You're an oof. Do your goddamn job. I need to get better weapons for some of these guys, because, like, Kermel should not be using a shitty shovel at this point in the game. Stun them. Finish the final stuffle. We want, basically, chat, also another thing that we need to start doing is observing who's getting the kills, who's getting the final hit, because that results in XP. Um, not all of it, I don't believe, but I believe that when you kill someone, you do gain extra XP based off, like, the damage they deal, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that means we want people that aren't oofs getting final hits and doing most of the damage because we want them getting XP, not the oofs. The oofs are destined to die. We want the final kills to be from people that are valuable members of society, not, you know, the trash. Dead. Yeah, this fight's over. Yeah, this fight's just about done, chat. Yep. Where are you going? Chase them. After them. After the matter what happens. Uh, it's over. We're not going to be able to catch like that. Swanky Pants is in fact alive. They've sustained some minor wounds, such as weakened. Oh, no. I'm not going to be alive for much longer. With minus 30% hit points permanently forever. Retirement? No, chat. There's no such thing. A early game? Retirement is death. They've also suffered a crushed finger for two to three days. And everyone else has sustained zero injuries. Another essentially perfect run. Grab some more weapons, which are good. We're going to want those. Let's collect our pay. And before we do that, let's also give Kermel a hatchet. Just a hatchet. We want him to be able to uh, two-hand double grip. For 25% extra damage. It's very important. Now, these nets are broken. They have to be repaired, so... Oops. Won't be able to use that for a little bit. But, uh... You, Marekt, are also going to take a cleaver. At least you can be of some use to me. Honestly, I'd almost give... Actually... Until you've gotten a level up, the cleaver may end up being just as useful in your main hand for starters. Grey Griff might be able to be more helpful like that right now. Back to Trogan Shacked. We return from whence we came. Yeah, I don't know, chat. Something about Battle Brothers, though, is a lot more fun to me than XCOM in a lot of ways. Like, the combat, there's something, like, even when it looks like you're fucked, it feels like in this game there's a lot, it feels like I'm, like, like, I have a lot more control over the end result. Even though I don't, it just feels like I have a lot more control. Like, no. Hundred and ninety crowns. I may not be reading every quest text that appears from now on, unless it's, like, interesting to me, because we'll be here all day if I have to do that. Uh, we didn't actually lose anyone, so we don't need to buy anything. Hang on, I gotta give you a shitty weapon back. Uh, give you this handsaw. It's better than the spear. I think I sell this crap. So we're going to keep heading north with the hopes that we'll be able to find someone that'll buy my trash. And while that's happening, let me just sell all this old crap. Because we're not going to be giving these weapons to anyone. They're garbage. Uh, Traveler Sash, Maximum Fatigue, three stash spaces. Uh, hang on to it, but don't equip it. Nothing here is worth buying. Uh, really. They're giving me equivalent value for it, though. So, like, technically, I'm not losing money buying from this place. Technically, anything I buy here won't be a total ripoff. But there's nothing here worth buying. 
Left for maybe like a couple armor, a little bit of like tunics, extra clothes. We want people to get clothes. Now let's buy a little bit of armor uh, for the characters that I want to die the least, that are also melee characters, like Ostuffel. Who has a ten? Who has? A, who's? It's better that he's wearing a sack for clothes. We're gonna triple his armor and give him a hat because he, he's important to me. Oh, Stuffle's future is bright. As bright as Wumberjack. One day those two will be the strongest warriors of our society. Anyways, we're gonna head on east and north, and keep moving. For now, I'm always afraid to triple time because that's when shit gets bad. So. Don't expect me to fast forward too much. Peasants. What faction are you from? Friedwald. I really wish I knew the whole map layout because chat, eventually someone in this map is going to become my bitch that I'm going to kill peasants of and caravans of in order to get money. But I need the whole map discovered before I start raiding or I won't know who I'm raiding. And then I'll get like jumped. Man, this is in the middle of nowhere. This is like the dangerous area. In this mod, enemies get more dangerous the farther out you are. Therefore, being away from towns is always a little spooky. When, like, you haven't seen a town for a while. Eisenholz, uh, how much would you buy my stuff for? Wow, a lot of stuff, lots of good trade options. We're gonna buy these too. And the salt I could sell for the exact same value that it's worth. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing that. Gonna buy some food while we're here, because they give me equivalent value for that. And then we're gonna keep moving on for a little bit longer. What kind of job is this, though? Uh, shipment. Alright, that's free rep. If it's actually shipment. Or is this a... Hang on, if we accept the offer, it'll give me actual details. Caravan to the south. I'll need some time to think about this. Caravan missions are hit or miss, because typically nothing ever happens to them, and it's really easy. Uh, but sometimes not. This is good. These are an, a, a bow town that's like poor. You might be able to get some decent uh, range stuff out of this later. Let's remember this place is here. Towns have like specialties. Uh, eyes and holes, good archery town. We're gonna keep going north because I want to sell my goods, my trade goods to get my money back because I sort of need to sell that stuff because we spend 104 crowns per day on upkeep. I need to thin out some more of these men. I got too many trash boys. For now, We'll continue. We'll actually cut through this mountain. Dahlberg, this place will buy my shit for a lot. This might be one of the biggest towns in the game, probably. Yeah, looking like it. All right, Thalberg. Will you buy my goods? Uh, I'd make $40 off of that. Not really good enough yet. I'd also make 40 off of this. I'd make a little bit of money off of all this, but we want to go even farther north. We keep traveling north. Oh, during camp, you come across Pickle Inspector, oof, sitting with his hands full of rope. He's got the cords looping so ferociously, as ropes can be looped, that you worry to not put your foot close to it. Curious, you ask the man what he's up to. As though he were expecting just that question, he quickly raises his project into the air and announces he's fashioned himself a net. Ah, you put your hand to your hips. That shall be great on the battlefield. The rat catcher purses his lips. He slowly lowers the net. Oh, I, I meant, I, I meant to use it to snag me some rats. He pauses and throws his head up, a cheeky if not cheesy smile adorned across it. But uh, I'll use it on the field of battle. No rat, man or furry that, or that which scurries shall escape me. All right, man. <laughs> All right, man. The scurrier. It is actually worth, I mean, I mean, that replaces his old net. So, uh, lucky us. Come on, we're looking for big towns. Or big money. Uh, all right, what do we got here? 420, drive off the brigands at collapsed hovel west of Streakmore. 420 crowns. Hmm. Except. Here's my logic, chat. I need to thin you guys out. You're in the way. There's an awful lot of you. I get some of you dead. Man, why are there a lot of cultists uh, in this town, huh?
clothed in rags. It is strange they neither sweat nor shake in heat or cold. Clutching a scroll as if it protects them from the very elements, it reads, Pstungli, Mgldavndavkul, Rlewagglnoggle, Ftagin, Blimflimlalem, Slimflimflim. Hmm. Great. <laughs> is that see here's the thing chat there are some very good scythes in this game but only necromancers get them but i'm always like tempted to look at one of these guys is this like this place isn't like is there something off about this place no there's nothing weird about it why are there so many cultists working here chain this place is weird Either way, uh, still not making good sales on our trade gear. It's probably worth hiring a cultist if their stats are good. We don't want to spend too much money, but we want to hire someone. Another rat catcher? <laughs> Those guys are like free money. Aptitude for cleavers, flails, and slings. Uh, likes wearing medium armor. Is skilled in nine tails, strictly penitent. Enjoys martial butchery, has fleet feet, and seems unswervingly firm. Mm. Uh, $300. I'm not paying off. I have to fire some people for the money. Fuck it. Be good, be good, be good. Not great, not terrible. Really good initiative. We have some stuff we could do with this guy. But I might take off the, uh... <laughs> Don't really like the whole cone thing this guy's rocking. I might take that off of it. Who wants to be this cultist? Don't really, don't really like the hat, frankly. Amula. Uh, not oof, but also not oof, but oof. Sort of in the middle. And they've got a scythe, a normal scythe, which means basically they're carrying garbage on a stick. If they miraculously survive this next fight, we'll care about them from there. How much armor does this hat provide? Uh, enough that's probably worth letting him keep it for now. <laughs> but uh We'll see if any we'll see how this goes. This fight might be really bad. This could be really bad. We'll have to like go to the posit like the destination and see if it says uh, once we get there, it'll tell us probably how many people are there. With any luck. And we're going to want to hope that it doesn't say 20 poachers. Because uh, if it's a bunch of ranged characters, some people are going to die. This could be bad. But it's a tier one. So uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, we're going to wait here for a minute. Without camping. And hope that these animals don't come back while we're waiting for the sun to come back up. Wait, we can see it now. Uh, a brigand thug, a few brigand poachers, a brigand raider, a bandit rabble, and a few rabble poachers. I quietly give up the quest. That town wonders if I was ever real at all. Too many poachers for this early game. Everything else is technically doable with archers, but that's too, if the poacher count outnumbers what my archers are, which is currently three, um, I have to be the one approaching, and that's awfully annoying early game. Chat, good news is, while, take, while refusing to do, like, quitting missions does impact your rep, uh, because I didn't take any pay up front, it doesn't impact it as much, which is good. Yo, Lapines, thanks for the five. Gifted subs, Lapines. Very nice of you. Very nice. We're going to keep exploring roads while trying to travel as northward as we can. We need to sell our trade goods at the next town I get to. I was really hoping it'd be a nice town, but it's not. They got a quest for us. We need to do this. Uh, I got a job. 510 to secure the Crypt of Mourning. I decline. If it says Crypt, I say I can't do it. Hey, how much would you guys buy uh, trade goods for? Yeah, nope. God damn it, I want to make money. Chat, here's the thing. If we go straight north, we'll reach a town. 
over the next three days. But we may also reach our demise as a result of goblins jumping us. Do you feel alive? Oh, wait, there's a road here. Never mind, we're fine. Northward! With me! More town? Is this a good town? Stone Watchtower? That doesn't always mean there's a town nearby, though. Let's keep going north. Slowly dwindling through my food supply. We need to find, like, a winter town. There we go. Norworld. This one should be it. You guys, uh... God damn it! Really not making my money back on all these trade goods, but gonna need to actually spend them soon. And no jobs. At Norwold, the company comes across a small boy who has climbed up a tree and out to the edge of a branch. He's reaching for a ball that's gotten stuck on the roof of his home. There's not a parrot in sight to help him. When he sees you, he asks if you get the help get the ball. Seems simple enough. Uh, this is how someone breaks their fucking neck and dies. Sure. You send Tomato, the streamer. Good streamer. I, I'm, I'm a nice guy, chat. Could you imagine if I fucking died doing this? To try and retrieve the ball. Using t Fark Oof as a step stool, he launches himself onto the roof and gets the toy. The boy is ecstatic, and the smile on his face warms even the most cynical of your mercenaries. The company's moral reputation increases slightly, and I am in good spirits. What a good sword-selling Samaritan. Damn right, brother. Damn right. We keep traveling north until we find a nice town. We have two more days of money before I have to sell my trade goods with or without a good sale. It's good. We need to explore all this stuff anyways, technically. That's a town. Please. God damn it! Ah! Maybe, maybe good quest? Follow the tracks and return the golden talisman. This is a bandit hunt. We'll do it. After them. This will pay us enough to continue searching for fucking trade options. Ten thieves. How many poachers? A few. Is there a way I can trick them into believing I have more archers than I have? Not really. It's a 50-50. We're gonna take it. Uh, but I'm gonna have Swanky Pants equip this buckler, which give us some range defense on our front lines with barely any armor. It's a 10v13. We can operate an assumption that our uh, characters probably have better ranged stats than them. And we're fighting in a field, if I pick my position right. Okay, they're running into the mountains. Tail them. After them. This is one that gets dicey, dude. We're gonna fight on a mountain. Bring it! Actually, it is clear. Let's see. They have two archers. Someone is going to get one shot, but the rest of us will survive nicely. They will approach us most likely because of the number. We lucked out on that. Now let's aim for their most naked. Bandit rabble. It's this, it's this asshole right here. Eat shit, motherfucker. Let them come, which they will. Okay, Hamula. Uh, your job as an oof is to move forward. I'm gonna get you in front of a lot of people so you can use the reap move to uh, kill many of them at a time if we're lucky. You head wide, spear wall. We're gonna get shot by one of these guys. We're trying to get them after the middle is the point. And we're gonna take advantage of these bushes. Shields up. We wanna funnel them into this area right here so we can flank them. Uh, wrecked. Right there. It's right here. Stay right there. And Wungus, stay there. Kermel, what's Kermel's deal? Kermel? Wait, is he not an oof? He looks like an oof at first glance, but I think he's like a sub-oof. Ah, there we go. Fucking perfect. The archers have approached, and they're basically naked. Fuck, that guy got in the way. Son of a bitch. 
Gazo Lago could fuck this up, but they'd probably die in the process. But I could send the oof Gazo Lago into the middle to hold that archer in place. But I don't think I'm gonna. I think we shield wall and wait. Let them approach Hamula. Oh, Stuffle is an actual character. And we're gonna move them up and start getting hits in on that rabble. That guy's the scariest guy on this team, the Brigand Thug. He's got armor. He's got a Gambeson, so he's got the most armor. So we're gonna net him with Pickle Inspector. But for now, let's uh, scare these guys. Nice. All right, net this guy and approach and start beating the shit out of him. All of you. And now while that's happening, uh, Grey Griff, it's time for you to do the scary play, which is I'm going to start sending you wide because in a couple of turns, you're going to uh, flank those two archers for me. If you survive that one. This is ill-advised for Wumberjack, so we're moving him up one to get him the hit advantage on that close quarters attack and then moving him back so that it's harder for them to get a hit on these archers. They're close enough that technically these guys could move in here, but it'd be dumb. They'd be surrounded on four sides, so they probably won't. Now, let's see if we can... Yeah, the, just for the record, the scythe is terrible. A Himula is a distraction, currently. They don't have any better weapons. Nor do we have any available weapons to make them better, so they're a distraction. Decapitate. Uh... We, well, this does more damage based on how wounded the person is already, so we don't want to use it right now. But we want to start beating the shit out of it. Ooh, Wongus! Not great, might just switch to great if you keep that up, Wongus. Yo, Wongus stunned that guy too. Not bad, Wongus, not bad. Uh, I don't want to move up Kermel yet. I want to wait a little bit longer. One more turn. Gazo, uh, wait here. We're gonna see if Hamula gets surrounded. I'd rather them get attacked than anyone else. Oh, I'm erect. Oh, mother of God. Everyone's alive. All right, these guys are moving into the good spots, but this guy's gonna be taking the next turn. So I'm actually gonna hold Hazari here because I wanna see where this guy moves before I move Hazari up to start shooting at these two or they might just get jumped. Please God, they're alive and they went after Gazo. There we go, that's what I was worried would happen. Hamula is doing an excellent job as distraction. And now that all three of these people are tied up here, it's time for Grey Griff to start sort of like a psycho running at these two, which will make them probably run away or shoot at Grey Griff, uh, which will suck, but also act as a good distraction. Start beating the crap out of this netted guy. Yeah, this guy's fucked. Oh, that's when it gets scary, dude. All right, they're going after, they're going after Hazari. They fucked up their hand, but they're gonna be okay. Okay, so now Kermel can move in and also help here. And, oh yeah. We're gonna hit all three of these people with this move and see if we hit anyone. Oh, Hamula! with the double slam. Destroying one of the bandits armor and giving a deep chest cut to the other. And now, since all these guys are tied up, we can uh, start giving them the business with Wumberjack. Aim for the most damaged. Son of a bitch. Okay, Marekt is probably gonna die. I'm sort of banking on that. That's okay though, I can I can live with that. Everyone else just take normal swings. Try to kill whoever you can. Uh, destroy armor. No one needs a destroyed armor, we just need to hit these guys and kill the guys up north. Now, Swanky Pants might be able to finish this person off. There we go. Yeah, it's over. This fight, this fight is done. They might kill Hamula, but the fight's basically over. Dead, not dead, soon to be dead, basically dead in the net. Look at how strong nets are, chat. This guy has been out of the fight, unable to hit anyone. Like they're so potent. In a minute, they're gonna get to the archer line and fuck them up too. 
And they're wavering. As soon as Grey Griff gets there, they're gonna break in the back. Like it's nothing. Hermel! Continue to surround this brigand who's exhausted. He can't, for the record, the brigand thug can't defend himself or basically do anything because he's so tired from being in the net, being unable to dodge and getting the shit kicked out of them. Even if we don't do damage, they're so tired they can't attack back. That's like, that's how strong nets are. They're completely fucking wasted right now. They have nothing. Everyone else approach, it's time to kill them. Yeah, they just pass their turn. All right. Oh, there it is, Grey Griff! There it is! Cut this man's head off and make him an example for the others, Pickle. <laughs> yes. Show them what is in store for them. Meanwhile, Marekt is getting his ass kicked still. Not much we can do about Marekt right now. He's dealing with some stuff. We're trying to get there. We're missing most of our chances. Marekt is in trouble. But hey, eventually we'll go up and save him. But I'd be lying if I said I would lose sleep if Marekt already dead with the injured shoulder uh, was to perish this day. I don't really think it would bother me too much, frankly. He's still alive! <laughs> Marekt is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. He has not given up hope yet. He may yet still live. Yes. Let's send up some help. I'll come up there myself and help him. As a good streamer. Kills himself trying to run. Let's see if he, yep, kills himself trying to run. All right, it's just this guy now. Converge around him, brothers. Converge. Oh, I was, that guy's in melee. Oops. Yeah, he got an attack of opportunity because I was being dumb. Converge! Marek, no! Eh. Anyways. Sure is a shame what happened to Marek back there. <laughs> but chat, he may not be dead because truly the legend never dies. Oh my God. Uh, I pay you $10 a day, huh? That's a lot of money to pay someone a day. Marekt will permanently leave you and place his current equipment in the stash. Paying compensation, gratuity, or pension for the time spent with the company will allow the dismissed to leave with dignity and start a new life, and will prevent others in the company from reacting with anger over dismissal. Indebted characters are paid reparations instead of their time, instead for their time with the company. Other indebted will appreciate it if you pay these, but no one will react with anger if you don't. Uh, how long have you been in the company? It's gonna take you three to four days to be able to do, you're down 50% of your total damage. You're basically worth less than garbage and you're gluttonous, you're fired. Get the fuck out, you're fired. If I fire them, they are not banned, or you can ban them. Frankly, mods, it's up to you. Depends on how vengeful you feel at any given point. It's up to you. I leave that in your hands. Might be more, might have more dignity if they ban themselves. Sorry, man. You had so many injuries, you were worth less than garbage to me. All right. I'm not even gonna, f I'm not, I don't even know if I'd replace him. This guy's, this guy's just a beggar. Daggers, slings, and stabs. You know, chat, sometimes I have no food. I gotta buy food. Hang on, we're out of food. I gotta buy some more food. 
Fuck, I cannot keep buying trade goods. Buy them. Orange, that one day I'm gonna make all this money back. You just gotta have a little bit of faith in me. Just give me a minute. I, I have, just have a little bit of goddamn faith. Uh, Gazo, take this. Uh, take this hatchet. Actually, no. Uh, oh, Stuffle, take this hatchet. Swanky pants, take this here, and everyone needs a hat now. That's on the front line, even if you're garbage, like Pickle Inspector. Everyone needs a hat. Bada bing. 25. Who's wearing sacks for clothes? You. Put that on. Anyone else wearing like truly garbage? 9 out of 20. Put on that one. It's mint condition. Nice. I can't believe how trash some of you have been today. You guys should be ashamed. Chat, just for the record, you should be apologizing to me for how garbage you've been. Think about it. How much happier I'd be without you if you were dead in the game. You know? Anyways, I'm gonna keep sending my character north in the hopes of finding an incredible capital to the north that I can make money off of with all these trade goods I'm hoarding. I really need a W. Well, oh, you know, a character to level up would be cool. No one's done that. And I've uh, been level zero for a while now, these characters. The Eye of the Cold. Well, this is a town. While walking about the shops of Hammer, you feel a tug at your sleeve. You turn to find a child there with a face smeared black with two bright white eyes staring out. He asks uh, if you know anything about swords, you gesture toward the one you've got sheathed at your side. He claps his hands. Wow, I work for a blacksmith yonder, but he's always fetching iron ingots. He told me to keep watch of this special sword he was making, but it fell and broke. It fell on its own and broke on its own. Will you help me put it back together? Sure. Wumberjack, good. One day is fetched... Yeah, that's his full name. Wumberjack Good one day is stretched to go help the kid. He helps place the sword's handle and steel together, and the kid works his magic on his own, easily mending the sword back into one piece. You're amazed by the skill and wonder how good the blacksmith himself must be if this is his apprentice. After the work is done, the boy offers to fix some of the weapons for the pathetic POV, which you happily accept. Nice, our moral reputation rises and our shortbow is repaired. Buy my trash! Right now! Shit! Ah! It's no big deal, man. I can totally recoup these losses financially, Chad. It's not a big deal. <sighs> this place is trying to rob me. Roots and berries for $72. You guys got a good job out here? Bartholomus Burgermeister, standing by his window, peering out while nursing a mug of mead. Grave robbers are plundering the cemetery again. Let's talk money. $510 to secure the secluded cemetery. I'll accept. This is another one of those, let's look at it and see what the deal is, jobs. Okay, well, we'll get close to it and we'll see if it's bad. And if it's bad, we give it up. We didn't take any money up front, so we won't take that big of a rep loss. And the north is where I'd like to raid because the south is too uh, lucrative money-wise. Now, we should be careful here. I have no, this is probably an enemy. Let's just get close to this and see what their deal is. Let's just see. We cannot see. Bye. Bye bye. All right, chat. We're going back south, baby. <laughs> We're gonna stop back at Bokenberg and try to recoup our losses on all this lost trade goods that uh, no one's gonna buy. And then we're gonna go south, as far south as we can, all the way uh, to the desert cities, where hopefully I will be able to make some money. I should be able to sell all these trade goods at the desert cities no matter what for a pretty penny. 
Do any of you guys have like an escort mission? $810, forget it, it's not worth it. That's because I know that they're not paying me to do it. any good mission. They're gonna pay me to like fucking kill someone. Oh my God, I cannot believe how financially fucked we are right now. Just keep, go, go south to Streakmore. Cut through like this forest. We'll buy food when we get to Streakmore, I promise guys. I promise. We will be fine. We will recover from this. No one panic. Shit, it's nighttime. <gasps> and we need food! Open the door! Thanks. We're fine. Ah, uh, we got a job here. 420 crowns to hunt down with terrorizes streak more. I need some time to think about this. He said. Never. Are you fucking kidding? These guys know how poor I am and they're trying to charge me like a mint. Chat. We have to cling. You guys have to accept that you might not get paid for a minute, okay? You might just have to accept that for a minute you might not get paid very well, all right? Accept that you might not get paid for a minute. Because I am I refuse to sell these goods. All right, we got money in the bank for later, but I got to go all the way down here to sell it, apparently, because no one else wants to buy my shit. We'll stop at Thalberg. My money! You'll be fine. No one's ever died from not having money. Be happy I feed you. Please, God. Ah, so I'm operating on such a financial loss. I refuse. Fuck it, I'll sell one thing of wood. So we don't starve to death. We keep going south, gentlemen, to Kratzdorf. I cannot believe how fucked we've been on trading. It's bullshit. You'd think there was some sort of scheme, some sort of cruel scheme. Continue southward. That's the road to continue southward. We go southward. Farther south. Wait! While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of a path. By the wagon, there's a donkey standing idle as a defeated... And as defeated as a donkey can look, the traitor looks a little better than that. And your appearance seems to have scared him. He rears up, backing away momentarily. Have you come for my things? If so, you need to kill me. Take what you want. Take everything. Bread. <laughs> Take all of it. Take it. We continue on the path. He said it. Not me. Oh, chat. From Frightwald. I really wish I knew how big this town was. This faction. I don't know how big this faction is. I'm guessing, I'm guessing Crouchdorf is the smallest one. I was gonna, I was gonna raid Crouchdorf because it looks to be much smaller. There's not much map space left for it to exist. Meanwhile, we don't know what's over on this side. This place could be gigantic. That's the problem. I don't think we can do it yet. Even though this is totally readable. We don't know which faction Friedwald belongs to. Because we haven't seen Friedwald. So even if it might be this one. But since I don't know, I can't just kill him yet. We want to pick on the smallest faction in the game. We're ready. So for now, we continue to bide our time and you guys continue to have your payments stalled. Thurnwall. Oh boy. Eight notch zeros. Uh, let them pass. And then stop and th Oh, they're coming back. Uh, you guys want to sell your things here? No, still a loss. See you later, assholes. Oh, wait. I'm going to watch and see what I'm. If I join. Chad, if we join, we get some free hits and might get a couple of. We might get some kills and money. If I join right now into this fight. Do it. No, wait, they just... It's already down to five. It's too late. It's too late. We'd go in if it was, like, just began. But not for that much. They'll be dead by the time we get there. We're in the deserts now. The desert people have the best gear in the game. We're gonna hope some nomads, like, five nomads approach us so that we can kill them. And uh, take their slings, because they're more powerful than our slings. Far more powerful. They'll be the best melee, the best ranged weapon we're gonna get early game, even better than bows, for the most part. 
Where's, uh... Oh, 12 brigands. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I need those people to fuck off the road. Oh, five serpents. Also over there. In the sea of sand. Maybe they'll kill each other if I... Looks like they may. Oh my god, where is this fucking city? We're out of food! I need that city now! Go, go, go before my a fucking army decides to eat me! It's time. Financially responsible streamer finally cuts his losses and sells all of his things. At last. You guys uh, don't sell food, huh? Don't sell much food here. God, and all the food is so expensive. You guys, uh, you guys sell staff slings? You guys got any jobs here? One star jobs, that sounds like a good deal to me. Abdul Rahman Al Tahir of Azim Shab is found surrounded by a harem of half naked women. Oh my god. He's holding up a severed hand, which surprisingly the women seem more fascinated with than disgusted. As he sees you, the vizier drops the hand and wipes his hand on the shoulder of one of the women, this time garnering a fair bit of disdain, albeit slavenly muted. Abdul Rahman, Al Tahir of Azim Shab, snaps his fingers at a servant who rushes over with a jar of wine. The vizier sighs and shoos the servant away and snaps his finger once more. Second servant realizes he's been called and comes forward, hurriedly handling you a scroll and speaks its words aloud. Monsters have been spotted near Azim Shab. Bye. Next. All right, what do we got here then? Uh, what, what's 140 crowns? Drive off nomads. At the blazing shelter. Can't do that either, sir. <laughs> this is gonna happen a lot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I can't do. I played enough of this DLC to tell you one thing we cannot do, and that's approach a fucking arm, like a pack of nomads. If they come to us, Easy money. If they don't, big losses on the horizon, team. The only thing swift about a cripple is their expected demise in a real battle. How much uh, money you take per... Wait, 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 what about this guy? Indebted. This guy doesn't cost any upkeep on account of him basically being a, a slave. Uh, hmm. Lots of them, huh? I wouldn't mind another body shield. Because I'd like. I, we gotta kill some nomads while we're out here. Wouldn't mind a couple trash characters. I can't believe I have to pay money to try them out. There's a couple of these guys. Let's just grab. Uh, this guy's actually a day tailor. He's really cheap. And on top of that. Wow, and really bad. That's fine. Your job is distraction. <laughs> you won't even need a weapon. Who wants to be this guy? Who wants to be foreign? Huh? Morto. Saying on, I missed. Uh, where's your fucking name again? I think I might have misspelled it. I saw someone's name. Hang on. Let's search. Let's search the users and chat things so, so I know I spell it right. Motho. Motho. Nice. Welcome. You're in. You're in, man. You're in. Let's buy you a... Let's buy you something to use. Forty... Forty-two dollars for a knife. You'd think I would have kept a knife for situations like this. You know? You'd think. All right, chat. This is the best place we're going to get gear in the game right now. So we're going to loiter in this area. Well, in the south. And try to find nomads to kill. Because if we get lucky and we find a group of like seven, we could make some serious cash from their bodies. Have a bit of faith in me. Uh, there's probably a city this direction. This is really stupid of me, what I'm doing right now. This is how, like, a team wipes. 
some nomad cutthroats, a few nomad slingers. You know, this is the job I, re I refuse to do. And now knowing how many people are in there, I regret not taking it. Only a few slingers is actually not that bad. Some's like four to five, right? And a few's like one or two. Whatever, kill him. Let's try it. Fuck it. We have to do something, or else we'll be out. We'll, we'll be down. Yeah, this is doable. So we want those slingers. Those are better than our weapons, like genuinely. I don't know why they're so strong, but it's a 13 v 7. This should be a murder. They have better weapons than us, uh, by a tiny bit. No, not even. Those are sticks. Yeah, these guys are dead. Um, hopefully. Their slingers could one-shot an unarmored character, by the way. Just, uh, for the record. So, Hamula, move on up. Matho. Matho, Matho, Matho. I want you to stand right there. Matho, stand right there. I'm hoping everyone will converge in this nice choke point if they come chasing you <laughs> and make it real easy for the rest of us to get killed. Matter of fact, I'm going to encourage it by spearwalling to the south. All these are, this isn't like navigatable, these blocks here. So we're hoping that they'll take the bait and come after Matho. <laughs> It'll be useful if he if he does this right. Come on. They're wasting moves. Yes. Damn it, they're pussies. They're gonna try to use slings. We we have equal slings, so I need one of the archers to do something, or they're gonna keep hucking rocks extremely accurately at our trash characters. Alright, let's return. Let's give them a reason not to do this. Son of a bitch. Look at how strong these things are, Chad. This is the problem. We need these guys to come up here and attack Motho. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Yes. All we need is Motho to help us distract them. Well, Motho gets pocket sand in his eyes. Uh, all right. Uh, these two are gonna start moving because uh, it's starting to seem like we are gonna need to uh, approach these slingers after all. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna approach too far. Hamula, do your job and die for me as well. Move up just a little bit. And Motho, God, poor fucking Motho is so stunned by the sand. They can't do anything. They're just like st sitting there screaming. t -fuck. Hit this guy in the face. Everyone else slide up. Camel. We'll move in and start attacking. Gazo Lago. Move in front of Hamula. We're just moving up the line close enough that the archers can attack, basically. Go stuffle, go wide. And now we just huck rocks at them. While gently, Grey Griff goes wide. And I mean very wide. And behind things that they struggle to hit through. These guys got armor, though. This fucking cutthroat. These cutthroats got armor, that's their problem. There's less of them, but they have armor. Just take swings at them. This guy's gonna die. This guy's fucked. Ah, yep, yeah, they're moving up. All right, they're, they're, they're deciding it might be smarter to approach, and that's what we want. And keep attacking through his shield to fuck up his uh, stamina. Keep beating the shit out of him. He's exhausted. This guy's fucked. Keep beating the crap out of him. And uh, now we're gonna knock him back. If we can. I want to move him out of this spot. To get us a little bit closer to the archers. Ah, they're throwing. All right, perfect. This is what we want. Stun this guy. 
Perfect. Exactly how we wanted this to go. Everyone's now jammed up in this area where they have bad sight lines and our archers can just start, you know, pinging their guys in melee. There's too much, it's basically a trade-off now, but we have a guy, oh, Stuffle right here that's gonna circle. This ends up working out in my favor. All right, and my character, having a pike, is about to switch off of ranged to pike for the duration of this fight. Because these guys are throwing away their ranged advantage in this area. Yes. Oh, Stuffle, yes. This guy is going to be three blocks away, so he won't be able to attack if he approaches me now. Oh, Stuffle's in a dangerous spot, but these guys are probably going to run now that they see oh, Stuffle. Yep. Oh, he still has stamina in a pocket set? Fuck you, dude. It's fine. We just surround them now and beat the crap out of them. boys are slowly surrounding them and then they'll be dead oh stuffle's gonna be stunned for a turn now all right Fregriff, move in motho keep desperately trying to see try, trying to seem helpful to the team for me these guys are actually getting extremely lucky on the dodges to the point where it starts to get really annoying in this game They can't dodge forever. We have a massive numbers advantage on them. Oh, fuck you. That's Gazo. is the thing. Oh, this guy's throwing. He's moving those slingers into melee, trying to rotate away from the enemy. Oh, idiots. They're throwing. Keep stunning this asshole. Yeah, but we're not going to let him get away. Hamula's going to cut them off. Okay, so, oh, Stuffle is in a bit of trouble here. But we got to get through this guy's shield to help. Unfortunately, we don't have any axe guys, because typically you don't need them this early in the game. All right, this guy fucked up. I missed. Oh, Hamula! There it is, oh, Stuffle. Break their fucking helmet. This is anyone's game, but it's looking a lot more like my game. Even though we may lose a person or two doing it. It'll be worth it for the amount of money we're gonna make. Well, the amount of power we're gonna gain from the slings if they drop. That's mainly like we're, we're able to coop. We can handle the losses. But fucking hell, this guy's shield is really holding together. We need to decapitate one of these people. Okay, Grey Griff is now in range to help with Amula, which is good. Please, God, we just need to kill someone! Break, cowards, break! Fuck all of you! Yeah, they're doing like weird stuff to try to get their frontliners out of the way. Merely removing opportunities to sling at us, therefore guaranteeing their demises. T Fark, move in. No more moving around. Fucking die. Yeah, they, that was a hardcore throw. What they did there, chat, with the with all the rotating, uh, really costing them the game here. Now we might lose O Stuffle, or. We play the smart play and try to push this guy away from O-Stuffle towards T-Fark. Now he can't reach O-Stuffle, and O-Stuffle can retreat next turn, hopefully, if that guy doesn't sling at him first. We just really need to kill one more person, and these guys are fucked. I just can't believe how alive all these people still are. You'd think they'd be like mostly dead by now, but there aren't. They have been so lucky on every fucking dodge so far. It's uh, it's really actually shocking to me. Uh, Mato, cut this guy off. I know you're about to die, and that's good. That's exactly what we want. Cut this guy's fucking head off in front of everyone. 
Kill these people. Now. Get around there. Kill every single one of them. This fight is over. I can't afford your wages, so if you die, it's more helpful to me at this point. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, don't do it. No, who was that? Oh, it was Gazo. Eh, he might not be dead. Swanky Pants is another trash character, I can tell because he has 24 health. Oh my god. Well, Swanky, you know what that means. Move into danger zone and start taking swings. Make yourself useful before you fucking die. Everyone's not doing great, but good news is this team is basically dead. Uh, we should have someone that can move into rain. Who's breaking right now? Oh, Stuffle. Oh, that's fine. He's he's break. Oh, Stuffle's breaking. He's a little coward bitch, but uh, he's not in the fight right now, so it's fine. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> Fucking die. Fuck off, oh Stuffle, we don't even need you. You're an asshole. There's three people left and you're running, coward. You're a coward. Look at Humula over here. They're on the front line, fighting to the last man. They're not running. Look at Mato, taking swings anyways. Look at Grey Griff. Actually, Grey Griff hasn't really been attacked, so it's not, they're not, Grey Griff's been fine so far, so. Yes, I don't really. Look at everyone else, look at like Pickle Inspector. He's running right into the middle of the fight. What are you doing? Yeah, break for me, Nomad. <laughs> yeah, break under the fear of being completely surrounded by powerful warriors. Yes. Yes. Yes! The battle is ours, gentlemen! It's ours to no one's surprise! All we need to do now is surround them and beat the crap out of them. Yeah. Yes, do not let them run. We need that. Yeah, fuck off, O'Stuffle. Yeah, can I? I want to rename him to O'Stuffle the Coward. I want it locked in whenever someone pusses out forever in their name. Wow, look at that guy trying to run three times in a row. Yeah, there's nowhere to go, man. Yeah, you, these guys are dead. This, this fight's over. They're not going anywhere. I was gonna stand there. The enemy retreats. They're battered and beaten. Those still alive scatter away in all directions is what they would be doing if they could scatter, but they cannot. Uh, at this point, we have everyone hold, but the uh, characters that I actually wanna get kills. So, Grey Grief, cut this man's head off. Yes. My character. Stab that man. We've finally gotten some luck. Gazo Lago is fucking dead. Uh, we will never forget all the good times we had together. Uh, he was in the company for 10 whole days. I paid him $8 a day. He took part in three battles and never killed a single person. R.I.P. Gazo Lago, R.I.P. Man. Fucking hell, pisses me off when I see a le like an oof character level up. You know what I mean? Because that means they're hogging XP from good characters. <laughs> like pisses me off when I see Wumberjack not getting XP. Ooh, O Stuffles in a lot of pain right now. He's minus forty-five skill. Probably put him in camp for a while to heal. Yo, we, can make, we got like fucking resources out of that. And two slings. All right. Bada bing, dude. This is worth a lot. Lots of these are really good armor. These head wraps too. So yeah, that was worth doing. Uh, Return back to the desert city. And when we get there, let's do some minor level ups. Pickle inspector. <laughs> let's just. Let's not. 
Let's not joke around here, alright, Pickle Inspector? You're gonna be a tank, and you're gonna last as long as you last, and then you'll die. And then you die, alright? Just... Cross your fingers. Alright. Perks. Uh... Alert. Well, he's basically net bitch, so I might as well give him alert to boost his initiative even more so he gets the first throw on a net. That's basically his worth, is we'll get him nets and have him throw them. Yeah, boost your, uh... Where? Hang on. Fast adaptation's technically better. I hate taking fast adaptation every time, though, is the problem. Caramel. T awful rolls. Actually, like, fucking terrible rolls, but whatever. Um. Just take the damage boost. Hey, Bailey. Plus 12 melee skill and 25% armor damage while using a pitchfork. Uh. Ho, scythe, or wooden flail. And then I'll upgrade to others. Who's the thing, chat? If I give him this and I take these scythes from Hamula, who shouldn't have it, they don't deserve it, uh, Kermel will be way more helpful and give Hamula the uh, cleaver. Adding me about tips on how to play the game when I have 80 hours in it. <laughs> I'm good, thanks though. Yeah, I'm aware of how much resolve I need. However, I'm also aware that this character dies in the next couple fights because I've labeled him as oof. So I do not care about it. I might just take, I might actually take a uh, hay bailing and boost our hit chance with the sights. Nah, it's not good enough. I think we take a uh, Colossus. Boost his health. Swanky Pants, another oof character hogging points. Hey, at least this character's getting good defense rolls. It's too bad these some of these guys are getting the worst rolls in everything else physically possible. I mean, Swanky Pants is an oof. Um, which means they're meant to die. So I guess I'm not gonna lose too much sleep. All oofs must eventually perish. It's just a matter of when. Uh, we're gonna give him recover since he's using a spear. He's gonna be spear walling. That'll boost his fatigue recovery when he's not being attacked. Right, Griff? Wow, we are getting the absolute worst rolls on everything we can possibly roll for. Gray Griff is going to be sticking around, so let's get the resolve boosted now. Prisoners rush. Are we doing shiv strat? Are we actually just gonna give this? Are we gonna make Grey Griff just this disgusting, like, knife psycho? The fall off on this skill drops off a ton um, when we get, when we start using daggers, but I think it'll be worth it overall. Plus, I like making weird gimmick characters. It's fun, even if they end up not being that great. Fuck it. That puts Grey Griff's uh, melee skill up to 66. We'll let them keep the cleaver because there is a purpose to the cleaver. All right, Hazari, the passable. What made you passable? I don't remember anymore. Well, it couldn't have been your range skill. <laughs> couldn't have been anything like that. Either way, since uh, you've got the sling perk here, it's time to take advantage of your immense new power. Gain plus 12 range skill and 25% armor damage when using a sling. Plus 50% armor damage when using a sling, sling staff at a range. It's time. It's time. It's time. So the sling staff uh, does between 25 and 50 uh, damage to hit points and crushes armor and has a very high chance to, well, it dazes anything it hits in the head. So, uh, sling staffs are the future of our characters. Uh, they're very scary. 
All right. Well, uh, let's give our good characters. Let's actually, I guess frontliners would get it, even though I'd rather not be giving them helmets. Because I know how fucked they are. Let's give all of our frontliners that are labeled as not great and some oofs. Um hats. 30. Nice. Okay. Everyone's leveled. That's me. Uh, still no reason to buy trade gear here. I wouldn't mind getting another net. Uh, what's all these shitty sticks? Keep the hats. All right, I think we go back north now. I don't really want to buy food here because I'll lose money. So I think we buy food at Thurnwall because they hate me less. And we'll kill any nomads we see on the way and hopefully not run out of food on the way out of this place. Let's go. We travel. Nomad? Nine. Many nomad cutthroats, a few nomad slingers. That would suck. Probably. Half of us are injured right now. So I'm going to try to, at night, scoot around these people. Okay. Jesus, God. God, Lord in heaven. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see if we can space this out to the point where these guys will join the fight. Please. All right, chat, here's the thing. I will reload if these guys don't join the fight because that's the deciding factor for me doing this. And this game sometimes does not make sense when it decides if people are gonna join the fight through proximity. Um, just so you guys are aware. It won't tell me if they're joining until I've entered the fight. Uh, they have not, so I'm going to reload. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Uh, that fight revolved exclusively around those guys joining me. I'm not planning on fighting them otherwise. And the difference in them and me fighting them is about five inches of space. Case in point, I wait like one more second and then do it. Now they're joining. See the difference? <laughs> now they're coming. And that's the difference in, uh, in power here. So we can probably get some clothes here. They even have a fucking mortar. All right, Pickle Inspector. <laughs> you guys, you guys gotta make yourself useful, okay? Cause um, I need you to get hits in. But please, do not uh, let them hit you with the mortar. Whatever you do. Hey, can you move? They're not gonna move. I don't think these guys are gonna get out of the fucking way. Ha! Damn it. These guys got guns and shit, chat. All right, Matho. Honestly, I need you out of here soon, so, uh, you know. I don't know why I'm even bothering with tactics. These guys are about to explode these people. Oh my god, they actually- I don't want to go near it! I don't know if they're gonna blow them up or not. Okay, well, that indebted is running into the fight, so I guess, uh, some people are fighting. Let's see if these enemies approach or not. They are. They're killing that poor man. Hey, no, I need to get kills. I'm afraid of the cannon. <laughs> all right, if all the losers are going in, we're sending in Matho after all. Matho, you gotta prove yourself to the squad. Oh, that's scary. Oh, Stuffle, hang back. Oh, matter of fact, those Stuffles stay way back. You're injured. All right, let's get some shots in. Uh, sure. Absolutely not happening. Shoot this guy. But a zing. Hamula. Uh, just stand there. That guy, that guy, these guys are spooky. Oh. Oh, that's spooky. Are they all dead now? Is it over for them? I think they're all dead now. I'm moving Pickle Inspector in. He's leveled up recently. All right, chat. Pickle Inspector needs to do some goddamn work. Oh, 
Okay, I want a gun. Maso, cut that guy off. Get some XP. You might as well. Uh, Swanky Pants, you are... You are dead. You have to die today. Like, I need to get rid of you or I have to fire you because you're worthless to me. So you might as well die in a fiery explosion of passion. You know what I mean? Everyone else move up and try to get hits in. Get hits. Hit things. Hit things. Do whatever it takes to hit things. Yes. They're not moving. They don't know. Shut. They don't know. He put up a shield. He doesn't know. He doesn't know, man. These guys have fucking flash bombs. When is that, uh, when is that gonna hit? percent chance. I never switched this guy. I never switched Wumberjack to a Staff Sling. I should have. I'll do it next time. Wumberjack would really benefit from it. Look at how much damage it does. Chat. That's a difference in... He's <laughs> like, caught in it. I was like, wait a minute. Hold on here. Oh boy. Is it almost over? When's the cannon gonna arrive? No, indebted. No, indebted! No! Great, Griff, I need you to be like, I need to try to peel this guy's armor off. But wait for the indebted to take a couple more hits. No, indebted! Not, not fodder. Oh, he's reloading his gun. So uh, when does the cannon arrive? Oh, uh, look, it's almost time. I, I almost want to jump in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> get in there. Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah, I forgot I put O'Stuffle back here because I don't want him dying. Huh, you know, that was actually barely anything. That, I thought that would be more impressive. I guess I gave them too much credit. Oh man, I want a fucking good weapon like these guys, dude. Holy shit. Hey guys, you think I can uh you think I can pull off this sick trick shot of shooting over my own teammate to hit this guy with a 12% chance, instantly killing him and getting the applause of my entire team? Bodazingus, free XP for Tomato, the streamer. No one was surprised. t -fark. an oof, is doing his job and doing it well. Everyone is doing an excellent job. I really need to get Hamula an actual weapon. The sight is nothing. They might as well not have a weapon. Uh, Kermel, get in there. This guy's trying to run. We'll kill him. And Grey Griff, stab that man. Ooh. Ah! Pickle Inspector just got fucking shot! I told you this would happen! I told you guys this would happen! <laughs> I, to I told you these assholes don't care! They just shoot! He's still alive. But the injuries he sustained may result in his firing in time. I was going no stuff all good stuff back there. Oh no. Wait, what are you doing? For that nomad cutthroat? Not for him. Don't slide in the, like the front line for him. Oh no. Oh, what are they? <laughs> Note to self, don't join uh, regiments of Southern warriors ever. They, uh, Motho, get in there. Oh, no. Oh, no, we have to finish this now. They're going to finish the job on Pickle. I had to try. Inspector, he 
would have lived if not for that other guy who shot him who did that. Who did that to him? Anyways. <laughs> Pickle Inspector was an oof, right? He was part of the lower class. I believe he was. I believe Pickle Inspector was an oof. Chat, look, to be honest with you, here's what was my decision making for that. Um, I found the concept of getting Hazari 20 more XP more beneficial to me than paying Pickle one more fucking day. Understand that. That's what you have to understand right now, is that to me, I found that more valuable for the team. God, just risk and reward with you. It's one of the best parts about this game, chat, especially on the harder difficulties, is having to decide whether or not keeping someone alive is worth it, or if letting them die is better for your overall fucking income. He might live. There's a chance he fucking lives, chat. We don't, we don't know, dude. We don't know, bro. It could go either way, man. Swanky pants, move in there. I need to make sure you get the last hit on this fucking guy. It can't be that other asshole. Need the crap out of these people. We need the XP. These other guys, they don't fucking need it like us. God damn it, kill that man. Son of a bitch. Motho's eating shit, but that's fine. No, hey, that last kill is mine. Even if I have to fire into the crowd. Damn it. Son of a bitch. No! He's mine! He's T-Farks! Everyone back off! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> the gun guys! No, no. We can finish this fight before gun guy gets here. Hey! God fucking damn it. Pickle Inspector lived. He lived, bitch. He lived. He's got brain damage! <laughs> His brain! His fucking brain! <laughs> we hooked a rocket to the back of the head and fucking broke his brain! He doesn't know where he is anymore, man! And he's got an injured kneecap! Oh my god. What a fucking pathetic weenie. Whatever, we got some we got some food out of that. And a mace. You don't have to pay him now? I feel like he still knows. Hang on. I thought didn't I just get food? What is this if not food? Chat. What is this if not food? Do I not have enough provisions? No, I definitely, that adds up over. Unpause. I mean, that thing I'm doing? Oh, it just took a little bit longer to update. Okay, we're going to third wall. Hopefully nothing interrupts us. I don't want to be here anymore. We need to find a good place for Pickle Inspector to die. Seven nomads. Fuck, dude. Oh, I want to kill him. Ooh, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, should I kill him? Yes, probably. Give me this. Put that on, Wumberjack. You are an extremely valuable man and you have a purpose on this team. And I love you. You will one day be the most powerful warrior of us all. You simply have to survive. I feel appreciated. You should. Unlike some people here who don't seem to appreciate everything I've done for them. So grumpy today. Little... Pathetic. Anyways, 
Let's at least try to prolong the inevitable by giving him a shield. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I'd rather, if I had to choose, I'd rather lose this mace than that cleaver if he were to die, frankly. And this is good armor. So I'd probably give him the worst armor. And the worst, ooh, his brain's sticking out. It's fine, it's fine. But everyone, you should, this is like when like an animal, like a pet is very old and you know it's about to bite it. So, you know, you guys, you guys just gotta accept that this, this pickle inspector's on his way out, you know? You should spend time with him when you can. <laughs> He's dead. He's basically dead. It's just a matter of when now. Let's give him a bandage. That'll make him feel more confident. Yeah. Anyways, you're on the front lines, motherfucker. We're gonna level everyone up and then we're attacking those nomads. I don't, wow, I cannot fucking believe how bad our rolls are. Melee skill plus three. On a three-star melee skill, Ostuffel blows it. <sighs> Whatever. Ostuffel. Uh, probably want him taking Colossus. Frankly. Plus 25% extra hit points. Wungus, uh, you will take adaptation, as do all. Oh, yeah, I, no, your future's, your future's grim. You're gonna stay in melee and then die. That is your purpose. Let's boost your resolve while we're getting good rolls on it. All right, T-Fark is now the perfect bait. Congratulations, T-Fark. In celebration of your new future, allow me to give you Harvest Twist, which boosts the power of your melee skills with the sickle. I'm taking this not because it's good, but because my expectations for you are so low that I believe the best thing you can do for me is hit more constantly before you perish. Now you can harvest bushes for, for money and food. Isn't that exciting? You can harvest food while we die. Or while you die. All right. No mad fight. Man, we are a little injured for this, huh? This is ill-advised. I would describe this fight now as extremely ill-advised. Man, I didn't realize until now, Ostuffel really is garbage. He actually, his stats... His stats are at three. He's got three melee skill stars, but his stats started so low. I don't think he's ever going to recover. It's so bad. Anyways, let's kill these people or die. One or the other, to be honest. Now before the fucking, before the snakes get here. Now. Okay. Most of them don't have shields, which is good for us because we don't have those either. Two slingers. Man, this is gonna be a close one. It'll basically come down to who hits the most people in range. Motho, let's have you start moving out there to draw fire. <laughs> God damn it, Motho. You're a fucking hero, fucking volunteering to draw fire from the slingers for me. You're a goddamn hero, Motho. The rest of you. Scare these people from coming this way. Make them go after these two. We get them up here. Come on. Damn it. You never hit fucking slings that far out, but I can dream. I should probably put up my shields, but I'm assuming these slingers are going to be moving forward. Frankly, I'm just gonna hold everyone here for a minute. Oh, they're pushing out. We're all pushing out? Is this a past turn? 
I think this I think everyone's choosing to pass this turn. That's fine. Are we passing? Oh, now you're moving. There they go. Yes. Yes. All right, pickle inspector. <laughs> Everyone, please understand that I do this from a place of logic. He's doing the best he can to help us right now. Don't you see? I'm almost tempted to keep hucking stuff in his direction to see if he gets another friendly fire self-kill. You know what I mean? Wow, so no one's taking the bait on uh, Matho? Because that's fine. He's going to end up fighting the fucking ranged in a minute and being an actual hero. Caramel. I want to move him in because I want him to decapitate this guy. In front of everyone. Staring the shit out of them. Move swanky pants up. T-Fark up. Choose your fighter. If I moved T-Fark up, Pickle Inspector would survive the next round. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Stuffel, start moving up, but keep your shield up. I don't want you to get hit. Mula. Slide up too. But turn out too quick though. Sneaky like, chat. Sneaky like. Real sneaky like the Grey Griff moves. Hold a bit longer. Hold. <laughs> Allowing all the shield guys to go. Therefore guaranteeing the death of this man. And he already took his turn. Mato, jump him from behind and stab him in the neck. We're gonna have those stuff will break his shield and kill him. Well, that's happening. Man, I wonder if we could actually get these hits. Probably not. Those slingers are probably gonna beat the shit out of us for a while. No! Exactly. But I think I'd rather hit the melee guys right now. Those slingers seem to be missing a lot, and if they hit the front line, I wouldn't lose much sleep. All right, Hamula. Your job. <laughs> mm, I think I'd rather have Swanky Pants say, stop this guy and then Hamula to come help after. Actually, I guess both can do it. God, please. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Mm. I think I think that it's more beneficial to let Hamula possibly die than risk Kermel getting really hurt by this guy if we don't kill him fast enough. Genuinely. Guys are fucked! They're running out of options. Running out of options, running out of time. Oh, Stuffle. I want you to shield up and approach this man. And Pickle Inspector continued to just cling to life. Okay, Grey Griff. That Greg Griff is in such a wild card spot. I have no idea how they haven't been shot at. Very good. Honestly, that's been the case for most of this entire run. It's been me shocked that anyone survived at all. Greg Griff could approach, but instead I'm going to go this way and wait another turn to approach. Get some stamina back. <gasps> oh, oh, Amula is alive for now. Just keep stabbing, keep him dodging. Ah, uh, yes, very good. Exactly where we want them to be. Everything is going according to plan. We're just gonna keep hucking stuff at these two. Oh, uh, we're going after Mato. 
which actually was the plan. But I don't, I don't want to admit that it was the plan. Uh, man, the amount of misses that you can just see on the ground right now. Really embarrassing. The amount of just constant whiffs this team has experienced is almost pathetic if, if, if you didn't take into account the fact that these guys have definitely been missing more. Okay, Swanky Pants, go help these two. I have to break through that guy's shield. These guys, this guy's fucked. Surely these four can handle this. So I'm gonna send Kermel down to help with this nomad cutthroat, but not too quick. <laughs> Breaking through the shield. All right, that guy's dead. <laughs> Go pickle inspector, save the world. Uh, I should move Gri I should move Grey Griffin, but not yet. Hold a little bit longer. Get this guy. Now we double back and get this guy instead. The real sur the real surprise play. Shield's gone. This guy's fucked. They're all fucked. I would say this fight's just about one, Chad. This guy's catching his breath. He's getting real tired. He's slowly getting whittled down. I bet I can hit this person with two throws. Nice. That's gonna throw him off his game. Slowly but surely, chat these nomads fall with only minor injuries. Yes, they're all fatigued and tired. Running out of juice. But will it be enough to save us all? Because we seem to miss just, we're see we seem to also be very fatigued. It would be ideal if we killed this ranged character now. Nice, close. Pickle Inspector! Are you prepared to die a glorious death? For the good of our squad. Go! Look at him. A hero. A goddamn hero. Meanwhile, this guy is still in like mint condition. Ow! Great! Great Griff! They're an actually good care. Kill that guy. What? This guy's exhausted. He can't do anything else. Just fucking die already. Everyone pile up on this guy and kill him. Get the shit out of him. This one's all pickle, baby. This guy's, like, this guy's fucked. Oh, pickle's still alive. Pickle's still alive up there, chat. The battle isn't over until Pickle says it is. Hamula! Someone should fucking help them! Stun him! Okay, uh, Pickle's probably dead next to him. Oh! oh! We have to end the turn next round. Hamula's gonna bleed out! Not good, chat. Not good. That guy's shield held out much longer than I expected it to. But we might be able to do it. Really depends on if uh, Swanky Pants can nail this one. Not enough. Unfortunately, not enough. This guy's fucking bulletproof or something. Alright, he's dead. We gotta kill this Nomad Slinger right now. Hazari! If you don't hit this person, Hamula dies. All right, Hamula, Hamula dies. Chan, it's over. Everyone say bye-bye to Hamula, Chan. Wait, of course, me, the strongest warrior in the game. Okay, Hamula is fucking dead. Unless we had a bandage to save them. Unfortunately, the only person who has a bandage is Pickle Inspector Stinky. <laughs> no! Oh, well. 
They were also in the oof tier. Sure is sad what happened to them. They might not be dead. You killed them. No, I didn't. But Pickle lives. Man, you guys like talking real early, huh? So I'm saying that a little soon, don't you think? Don't, uh... Don't you think you might be saying that a little too soon? Unbelievable that they're still alive. Un fucking I want this character dead so bad because they are tr they're worthless. They're worth less. They're worth less than dirt right now, and they're still alive. Why? How the hell is this guy not broken yet? Doesn't he know he's fucked? Finish it, pickle inspector. Hamura survived with a missing nose. That's fine. A gaping hole is all that is left of the nose, making this character hard to look at. Minus 10% fatigue, not great, Amula, not great at all. But, oh baby, we got some real weapons, baby, a safe. A scythe, and some more slings. The slings are the real treasure. Incredible prizes. Incredible money prizes, Chad. Sorry, right, I'm just drinking some water. All right. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. We need to finish more contracts. Go to Thurnwall. Damn it. Uh, I guess we'll... If we go this way, there's probably a town right here looking at the map. Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? You know what I mean? <laughs> what's the what's the fucking worst that could happen? See, town's right here. You go to check on Hamula, not oof, but oof. They'd suffered a terrible wound not long ago, and sometimes it can lift someone's spirits just to know others care. Thinking you'll find the mercenary nursing injuries, you instead are surprised to see Hamula not oof but oof in good health. The wound... The wounds have apparently healed in such speedy fashion that others might call it a miracle. It will never bring back their missing nose, however, chat. Just their bruised leg. Hamula is still a freak. That's right. Now I need to boost their fatigue to make up for their lost fatigue. All right, Hamula, how do we make you not suck? Practice the arts of punishment and grant greater accuracy with unwieldy weapons. Grants 10% of your resolve as melee skill while using Cat of Nine Tails. 50% of this perk applies to other whips. Uh, uh, God, Hamula fucking sucks. Huh. Take adaptation like everyone else. Wumberjack, baby, is about to get some good stat roll. Uh, okay, actually. I mean, we're gonna take both every time, more or less. All right, Wumberjack. For you specifically, you're getting student. We want you leveling up faster. And I, too, am going to have my character. Actually, no, I want one of us to have a bow. Just in case. Wow, this is actually a lot of armor on these things. Okay. Uh. Oh, Stuffle. Take that off. Let me just check all this. 25 versus 30. Put all this on. Give O Stuffle some actual armor. 35 versus 30. Because O Stuffle is almost back, ready to go. Yeah, he'll be back in in a minute. So we're gonna move him back up to the front lines where he belongs. It's time for him to start doing something with his life instead of loitering. He loiters so much, this fucking guy. He's the thing about him, Jed. If I don't make him do something, he's never gonna do anything. These people. Put me in, coach. I'd love to hire some more people, chat. If any of the fucking current team would like to die anytime soon, it'd be very helpful. Cause you're in the way. 
I'd love to hire more people and better people. I'll be taking this delivery job. I would really love to. If I could. But I can't. Because I got these shitheads, you see. These shitheads. That refuse to die. Well, uh, I'm gonna give, uh... I reckon I might give this safe to Kermel. Instead of the cleaver. I'll give, uh, one of these trash... Some of these trash boys cleavers, like Motho, who has somehow, despite all odds, continued to survive. And we'll give, uh, Hamula one as well, because that scythe is terrible. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, look at all my armor now. <laughs> I have to stay clothed even though I've never received a hit in the entire game. I, 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 it's cold out there, chat. Someone's gotta stay clothed. You know what I mean? What was this again? It was a Southern Gamerson 65. What was mine? Hang on, take this back off. That's actually, that's actually better. Overall. Look at all that armor. Good news is, I'll never die. Clip it. Right now. Legend never dies. Plus 10% chance to hit the head with archery. That's real nice. All right, we're gonna buy some food and then we're gonna go get a job. Wait, why does it say I already have one? Oh yeah, I have a cargo delivery to do. Uh, there's a Fletcher here. I'm tempted to... Do I, instead of buying good things for my team, Instead, invest in buying good things for myself, like some sort of unbelievable asshole. Of course. Mm, you are right, chat. You are right. I am. I do deserve it. I've been trying. I've been pl I'm a very good gamer, you know, and I think I deserve a little something for myself. You know what I mean? No, I, I'm just saying, I think I deserve a little something something for all my hard work. He's gaming. I am sort of gaming. Thing is, there'd be such a waste of money, I'm still tempted not to do it. But I'd buy like an actual hunting bow. Because that's a, hunting bow is like a, like flat boost in damage from the old bows. And it would free up a bow at the same time for someone else to use, so we can get another archer on the team, which I need. I'm tempted to do it. I, I'd give it to my character, naturally. Is it a waste when you'll just murder people for more money? True. I mean, it is a waste of money buying any item in the game. But, uh, you know. No matter. We got two extra bows to give to new characters and two slings. We need to hire more uh, ranged boys. And we still have the salt I need to sell up north. I'm gonna buy a quiver, a spare quiver, because I want my character, since he has finite gear, to be carrying two of them. All right, let's deliver this to Steinhausen with maximum overspeed for $300. And then buy some tools, because we're out of tools for repairs. Good news is, these aren't too expensive. And I didn't buy these for $710. Just for the record, the assholes who we stole this from, there's a label on it that says bought for $710. That's who we bought this from. All right, don't get distracted and believe I did that. I didn't do that. What is this? Uh, This is definitely not a mission I can do right now. I don't even need to read it to know. Is there any like good backgrounds here? Chat, here's the thing. If I tried out either of these two and they had high initiative stars and health stars, 
we could make an Ascendant the Filth character, essentially. Bad. Better. Here's the thing, chat. If I hired this guy, I would be firing someone else on the spot right now. I'd probably fire Pickle on the spot. You know, Pickle. You know, Pickle. I do have something you can do. Take this sling and pad our ma our ranged rents, okay? This is actually something they can do. They're at 39 right now. If they level up again, I can get them slinger spins and just get them slinger stuff. And at least then they'll be filling a slot and I won't have to get rid of them yet. I'm going to hire this brawler and then sell this salt here and get some jobs done. All right, chat. It's not great, but this guy could do some interesting stuff and I'm tempted to try it out. So who wants to be punch guy that'll probably die in 10 seconds? Kalumka. Probably okay, but doomed. Okay, that's a good way to put it. I don't see him surviving very long. But technically, uh, right now there's no reason for you to use punch until you've leveled up once. So uh, you're gonna use a mace for now and just exist. Now, is there a nice town to the north? There is slightly nicer than this one. With that in mind, I, I, oh, but if I sell this now, buy it. Sell that, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Get to those the fuck out of my inventory. Just get them out. They're just in, they're in the way. And then I buy one copper and get to me. Sell it later. It, 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 it's a guaranteed gain. All right, let's get some jobs done. It's time to get some jobs done at Trogan Schicht. All right, what do we got here? Thieves, tracking down some thieves. Easy money. We'll take it. You guys want to buy copper ingots? <laughs> Damn it. These guys hate me. Probably because they've been raided and they have no money. To the mountains. Oh, we're going to have to fight these guys on a fucking mountainside. Oh, no. Where the fuck did these guys go? Are you kidding me? Well, guys, they're in the middle of the... F found them. A few bandit rabble poachers, some rabble... Oh, this could suck. How injured are you? Minus 20% max fatigue. I'm camping for a minute. To get a little bit of HP back before we go. I don't want to fight these guys in the forest. We have a chance if we fight them in a clearing. Yeah, these spooky ruins. These guys are fucking fast. You catch a group of brigands lugging your employer's property around. They seem shocked that you have found them here. And no time is wasted trying to parlay. They arm themselves and order the pathetic, and you order the pathetic POV to charge. This is gonna suck, but I don't see any dogs. And that sounds good enough for me. Oh, they're dead. We started uphill. This was lucky. Uh, yep, we win. Our archers are gonna fucking tear these guys to goddamn shreds. This is about to this is about to be their pathetic POV. Everyone just hang out here. We have such a height advantage right now. This is like fucked. Chat, look at this. See that guy? Wow, it looks like he ate a lot of shit right there, chat. Looks like he's almost dead already. Now I'm gonna move my guys a little bit up. 
Because I don't want these people to try to take our height advantage. So I'm just going to park our guys sort of like in an area where they won't be able to climb up here without being mighty in case. Is this guy trying to step up on us? Is that one of the archers? Hit him. Kill him. Okay, we're still going to miss most of our swings because that's the curse. But um, really what we want to do is just position all of our guys in this cliffside because there's a height advantage mod like thing in this game. And if we have the height advantage, we have an ch increased chance to uh, hit. So, I'm just going to position everyone as close as cliff as possible and limit the amount of slots they get to climb. Nice sling, jackass. What is that, uphill? Fuck you. Yeah, nice throw. Asshole. All right. Ray Griff, uh, just stay right here. Letting one up is fine. It's part of the plan. I have to cut this guy up. Let him, let him continue to approach for now. I want to bait these guys to come around this way. Uh, uh, yeah, this guy's in a bad spot. He won't be able to gain much of the advantage, but... One dead. <laughs> Damn it! If we got double, these guys would have broken fucking instantly. All right, uh, right here. In fact, oh, Stuffle, move right here. Get that thug fucked up. Yeah, look at you, Pickle Inspector. Look at you, dude. Even with your dumb brain. Look at you, you're hitting things. Even with your stupid, stinky brain, you have hope. We want them to come after Hermula with their low armor for the free executions. Yeah, look at them. They're all, like, they're paralyzed, Chad. This is like, this is the positioning shit that fucks with them. They have no idea how to approach this because they can't step into these three slots without me getting a free hit. They're, they're, they're paralyzed. They can't even move in right now. And now we start moving Grey Griff around. Just look at that. And now they've wasted a turn and clogged up the fucking zone. Move Kermel right here. And slowly start sliding Kamunka over. Kalumka. Yes, come exactly where I want you to come. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Exactly where you need to be. Has Hazari hit anything in this game? Because they're supposed to be one of the good characters. Have they hit anything? Has Tomato set the AI to brain dead? No, we are definitely on legendary. It's just that this game is only as hard as you make it. And the AI is going to continue to struggle to figure out what the fuck to do in these situations because we have a very advantageous spot uh, overall. So that's that's actually what's happening. We've just gotten a really strong spot. Damn it! Son of a bitch. Who knows? We could still all lose here if uh, we miss every single attack. Like this. Like what's happening? Like, exactly what is happening right now. All right, Motho. You two start going wide. Man, these guys are idiots. Yeah, they are being really stupid. I dare you to come after Kermel on the fucking peak. Go ahead and try to sling us. Actually, you know what? Fuck you two. Approach! Gentlemen, if anyone even tries to come after Kermel while he does this, you're about to get spearwalled by Swanky. Go to hell. Yeah, run off. Run off to fight Motho. Someone more your speed. Run! No more shields. Surround this man and kill him. Whatever it takes. I want this man dead. Maybe I'll hit him in the head and instantly kill him. Nope, but close. 
Finish him. Oh my god, Pickle's doing better than Hazari, who's supposed to be an archer. This is fucking pathetic. Are you fucking kidding me? Hazari, you're gonna be fired if you don't kill something soon. I pay a lot for you. I'm not playing around, dude. I will fire them. I'm gonna go up one, sort of bait this guy up here. You'll be fucking fired. Meanwhile, all these guys continue to miss every swing, which is good for us. All right. I'm gonna cut this guy's face open. Oh, Carmel! This guy's freaking out. He just saw that, and now Carmel turns around to come for him, too? Uh oh. Who was that? Eh, I don't know their Kalamka. Uh, okay. How much did I pay for them? Were they poor? They were supposed to be our punch guy. Yeah, they were cheap then. <laughs> well, hey, sometimes you got, yeah, sometimes you got it. Sometimes you don't, gang, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God, Hazari, I might've just changed my mind about you. <laughs> Mother of God. Wah, Wumberjack. His chance to hit's a little bit lower here, but higher in some spots. Wumberjack, get whatever seems like a free kill. Or miss. Nope, got it that time. Nice. What are you fucking... Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that poor guy. Pulls out his small shank. It's over. It's over. No one gets out alive. No one gets out alive. Am I willing to do a bullseye shot at this guy while the line of fire is blocked by Motho so that I have an increased chance of gaining additional XP and leveling up my main character at the cost of possibly headshotting a completely naked oof tier character? Sorry! Sorry about that, man! Didn't, uh... Didn't mean it. It's, uh... You know. It's like good luck. Yeah, that happens and then you become the next pickle, you know? He should be thanking me. I don't think he will, but he should be. Oh! Mato's still alive, ladies and gentlemen! You only become stronger when you receive a fucking crossfire hit from me. Hazari, kill him! Yes. Now, is Hazari willing to risk hitting... <laughs> the answer is no. Bruh. Kill this brigand thug. Cut his face off. This guy's fucking dead. Uh... Am I willing to get Wumberjack another level as my most powerful character by hucking a rock at the back of Huz... Uh, oh, of course I am. Oh! <laughs> Wumberjack gets special treatment, chat, because their future is so, so bright. It's so, so bright, it's blinding their future. It's over. Kalumka survived! But, uh... They're also fired. <laughs> they're also fired at the end of the, uh... At the end of the day, you know what it comes down to. Sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. Kalumka is fired. Sorry, Kalumka. Uh, Kalumka, we will not ban you because you um you only existed in this job for a couple of minutes. Uh, you didn't deserve it, but you are fired, and you will have to hand back in your uh, clothes and gear.
I cannot sustain minus 40% initiative on a character whose damage scales directly off of initiative. For context chat, that is why we have to fire him. The talent that makes Brawler good re relies on initiative power. And this character no longer can function. They are now worth less than garbage. R.I.P. Worst character ever born. Let's go back to Trogenshocked and get my fucking money. And then get some food. Because man, oh man. We really need some. Okay. You guys want to buy these copper ingots? I told you guys I'd make a profit off of this trip. Didn't I? You guys were like, there's no way, dude. There's no way he's going to make a profit from this distance. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm making an extra $40 from just walking up and down. Bada bing. It's, it, it's free money. It's free money, ladies and gentlemen. It's free money. It's free money. Now then. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Was this guy always paranoid? You're super fired. You would have been fired even if you hadn't gotten injured at this point. If I saw paranoid, you would have been super fired. You're fired. Get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. You'll never be like Motho, a character who has quite literally done so much for this team, still is labeled as trash, is one XP from leveling up, is dumb. So stupid. Look at that drawing. So bad. But yet, they continue to fight. Even now, they're the only person that's happy. Yet, will I give them clothes? The answer is no. The answer is a big no. Hyper no. Absolutely never. Your destiny, Motho, is to die. But how will you die? That's the beautiful question, you know? Uh, can I get a delivery job? Thanks. These are good. Delivery cargo jobs are good because they label a, a city. Sometimes that I haven't been to. And uh, it boosts rep. So we're going to take that delivery job. Happily. And can I just take a look at the city distribution here? We may swing by Crotchdorf and try to raid. Genuinely. It might be about time you raid Crotchdorf. That place is seeming like the raid zone for me. It might be time. I'm making a profit off of these tools now if I buy them here. Probably worth it. Okay. Anyone shields? Man, I really need to get Wungus a weapon, huh? There's so many people I'm just not giving weapons because, like, I don't need to yet. And I'm half hoping they'll die so I can replace them. And Wongus is one of them. Wongus is beautiful that he's still going. Frankly. At this point. It's honestly like fucking beautiful. Anyways, to Crotchdorf. If I see a caravan out there, I'm going to kill it. And loot it. To Crotchdorf. And then to deliver our cargo to Streakmore. During camp. You walk out of a tent, see Hazari and Greygriff regaling one another with stories. You're not sure what a poacher and a thief would have in common, but they seem to be having a good time laughing. Hazari gives another story. One time, I was out in this pretty nobleman's land hunting his buck. Buck. Shooting that damn deer was the easy part. In the middle of field dressing it, I hear hooves beating under and each uh, under over the earth. So run a rope up a tree, tie a carcass to it, and haul that sucker up there. No more than a minute later, bada bada bada, there's the nobleman with the constable and a retinue of lawmen. Gregor raises an eyebrow. That's a tight spot, sir. The poacher nods. Tighter than a cross-legged virgin it was. Damn, man. Calm down, we're trying to keep this PG. 
So this nobleman comes wandering just underneath me and sees all the blood. He starts barking that I come out and turn myself in. I had no intention of doing that, but unfortunately the goddamn buck starts slipping. I reach out for it and I suppose the branch couldn't take no more and snapped. The nobleman looks up just in time to get splattered by the belly of the deer. Meanwhile, I'm falling to certain death until the damned rope snags my foot and hangs me upside down before my makers. I give a bit of a wave. Hey fellas, don't mean to barge in like this. The thief laughs, but with a concerned face, Hazari waves it off. Oh, they had a sense of humor about it, thank the old gods. I spent a short six months in a dark pit. Nothing too bad, really. Man, imagine getting caught, though, chat, you know? Anyways, let's start raiding. It's time to raid. Time to kill everything. I am going to go up there and drop off this cargo, but I'm going to take a detour. Because I'm looking... I'm looking for folks I can steal from. And I need to discover all these towns in this area. Guys, make sure you guys sell things? Ah, uh, not great. We need to get a little more food. Start making some money. Chat, we need to start making some goddamn money. Let's draw, let's go up the street point. We're gonna take the, we're gonna take whatever path it tells me actually. Fast as we can to Streetmore, across the mountain sides, through the clearing. What's this place? Oh, doomed fields of bones. Yeah, we're going to skip that. Keep going. What the hell is Bakkenberg? God damn it. That's the one place I can't antagonize is the biggest cat, the biggest faction in the game. God damn it. I really need to start raiding things for food and money. We're losing a lot of money on this. I deliver the cargo. Got another delivery job? Uh, that's not delivery. That's some other bullshit. Son of a bitch. Let's go to Bakkenberg and see if we can get another decent job. Otherwise, I mean, we're trying to finish the contract mission. But certain things I don't want to take. You know? That's the problem. You buy more food. Are these my god it's so expensive you guys got i gotta fire some of you if you don't start pulling your own weight motho levels up god motho your stats are fucking awful how are you supposed to survive like this i don't understand how you're supposed to survive Just take adaptation, like the others. Kermel? What was the value of Kermel again? Why did I label him as- oh yeah, because he had high initiative. Oh my god, his resolve is terrible. Noted. Kermel's not very good after all, I don't think. Let's get faint for him. Okay. I just came back. This pickle inspector is still alive somehow, yes. Uh, barbarian savages. I want you to go west of here and find the village of those savages. Call home and do unto them what they have done unto us. Pass. We definitely can't take a bunch of barbarians. Man, I can't believe how shit the job availability has been so far. Like, really bad. That's not good. We really need to make some money or we have to fire some people. Because we're going through too much food. But we can't get a... We might be able to get a job from this place. We need to fire some of these... Folks. How many barbarians is that? Eight? A few warhounds and some thralls. Pass. It says a few warhounds and that means avoid. Warhounds suck. Okay, we got one star here. Uh, $540 to drive off barbarians at the barbarian outpost east of Hamar. We're gonna go there and see how bad it is. Wow, you want me to go way out there, huh? This is bad idea, city. 
some barbarian thralls, and a warhound. <sighs> some people are gonna die doing this for absolutely sure. You find the barbarian village. The savages are in the midst of some religious ritual. An elderly man with a tortoise shell necklace has his fist up the decapitated and shaved head. He's letting the blood run down his forearm where children take horsehair brushes and sweep up the paint and go run it against a wooden holy totem that stands a good 10 feet high. The primitives watch and chant in a tongue totally foreign to you. Grey Griff the Peeler whispers as though out of respect for the ritual, more so than fear of them hearing. Well, I say we go down there and make an introduction, yeah? Yeah, let's kill them. One Warhound. Everyone watch what happens when a Warhound plays the game. Wow, these guys got good armor. This is gonna come down to the archers if we win this, just for the record. I'm surprised the Hound didn't do anything yet. This basically boils down to if the archers can kill quick enough. There's the hound. Bruh. Bruh. This is gonna be dicey, boys. Barbarians are not a joke, and they don't break easy, especially in this difficulty. But if the archers get lucky and get hits in, we got a chance. Now, it's time for Motho to do his fucking job. Mar Matho's gonna die doing this. But uh, we need someone to stop these guys from hucking axes at us. So Matho's gonna run in and start just taking swings. Now let's hope he can kill this dog before uh, they kill us. Well, not kill us, but eat all of our attacks like they're doing right now, as you can see. Our survival exclusively hinges off of whether or not we can kill this dog before they exhaust our entire team, and it's looking unlikely. This might be a wipe as a result of the dog. I don't want to spook you guys, but this is like how it happens. It's genuinely down to if we kill the dog. All right, we got the dog. That's really good. Ooh, if we don't kill that thing within a round, it exhausts everyone it's attacking, and we have to keep swinging at it, trying to kill it, and it'll dodge a thousand times in a row. But we got it. Okay. Move up, Grey Griff. And we're gonna just start swinging. People are going to die doing this, but we need people in now. We just need to start taking swings where we can. Motho is actually just there to die. He served his purpose. He bought us time. And fucking the lowest resolve guy in the entire team is to no one's surprise running like a bitch. This is not good. Yep, comes down to if the archers can kill them all. Quite literally, it comes down to the archer team. Because, uh, Kermel's gonna kill himself running right now. Come on, Archer team. It looks like we might die here. Cause of, cause of a mix of Kermel trying to run. Actually, no, exclusively Kermel trying to run. <laughs> and a lot of missing in melee. But it's not necessarily over yet. Now it's over. <laughs> now it's over. Now it's over. Unless I can kill this guy. If I kill this guy, I feel sort of confident. And yep, he's dead. Good riddance. If you if you retreat, you're better off dead. Don't have time for you. Get out of the team. Hold the fucking line or perish. We're still in this. It's not over. Now it might be over. Yeah, this is, barbarians fucking suck. But it's going to get rid of a lot of our fucking cost expenses. And the only people that are dying are oofs right now. I fucking cannot believe I haven't packed any good shields yet. Please. Come on, archers! Oh, my God! 
They're throwing so bad. The archers are throwing so bad, bro. They're missing everything. Thank fucking God, Pickle. Kill this guy. I know the chance to hit on that one is so low, but I need we need to get kills. Okay. This guy's near death. Please, God. Oh, boy. If we dodge everything, we win. If we don't, we die. I think we're gonna win. But with a lot of deaths. Oh! Yup, yeah, there it is, dude. We're missing, we're not dodging anything. Not surprising. But the archers will probably win. And those are the important ones. Problem is, uh, Wumberjack is somehow the worst aimer ever. Uh, he's... Distance of six is the only thing in his way, and he's got a 5% chance to hit this guy. And one of my archers is now running. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. But, uh... Good news is, my character's still here. Okay. It's, uh, 6v3. Most of our rangers are now running, uh, but that's fine. They'll have to chase them to catch them, and when they turn around, we'll hit them once we're back. But uh, it comes down to if O'Stuffle can hold it. Okay, he's coming into melee with me. I really need fucking Hamula to get a kill, or for Wumberjack to fucking fulfill his destiny and kill something, but he's not going to. Oh my god. Oh, fucking hell. Like, it was chat literally every possibility of bad play that could happen. Every R, every roll these guys threw. Hamula just fucked up. If my character, my character's got a ridiculous amount of armor. If fucking O'Stuffle stays alive, we can live. But Wumberjack might as well die at this point. He's thrown. I'd rather him dead. 31%. And we're missing again. Yeah, this, yeah, this is when Battle Brothers starts to get crusty, dude. Fucking back-to-back -back misses of every single possible swing in the game that therefore guarantees our complete wipe. It's over. We've missed every 50% attack, and now my character's exhausted and won't be able to swing back or we're dead. Maybe we kill this guy. Nope, we missed again, it's over. Oh, Wumberjack actually managed to get a kill. My character's armor is still holding. It really just depends on whether or not uh, the other two decide to stop running. Because if they weren't running right now, we'd be good. Oh, Stuffle. I cannot believe Oh, Stuffle's still alive. No, believe it or not, chat, we haven't lost anyone that wasn't in the uh, oof category. <laughs> Miraculously, we haven't lost anyone that was in the, uh, that wasn't in oof, I don't think. Oh, there's no way he's gonna hit this one. Yeah, no. Nah. But hey, at least we're back in the fight. I'm gonna keep Wumberjack here. I can take a couple more hits. Please, God! Oh. Fucking okay, we won. But no help from. Mo I hope none of you get up. You're all fired. Especially the runners. You're fired, Hazari. I'm firing you. You're trash. I think Wumberjack might take a hit here, but to be honest, we need to fucking free up these guys. Everyone's stats are so low, that's why they're dying. I need to get rid of these people and reset. Quite genuinely, Wumberjack ended up being terrible. I don't know what was up with his character, but uh, Grey Grief, Grey Griff, dead. Didn't really end up paying off very well. Mumberjack will actually get to stay on the team. He leveled up. Kermel survived, but I'm firing him. Uh, he ran, and his resolve is so low, he's actually the reason we almost all died. So, um, you can ban Kermel now. He's fired. Um, Hamula, also fired. You can also ban them. <laughs> uh, Wumberjack will stay. Somehow, we survived that. And... Technically, the spoils of it may result in this being an overall net gain. 
But yeah, we're firing a bunch of these people. Uh, Hamula, uh, fired. Actually, hang on. Hamula will stay. Don't unban Hamula if you ban them. We're gonna keep Hamula, but uh, Colonel's fucking gone. They if they hadn't ran, uh, ever, no one would have died. We would have won. The fuck out of here. Now everyone's really angry, but if we can make it back to Hamar, all right, Wumberjack, quit. Get out. I don't need you. Hamula, fuck off. I don't need you either. You know, Chad, it's actually easier to recover with all those people gone than it is with them here. You want to know why? Now I don't have to pay for them. And I can get all my money back trading and continue to do delivery quests. Fall from grace. Yeah, if they left, ban them. Uh, so Humula, ban them three days. And Wumberjack, ban them three days. Insubordination. Quitters. Dude. That's like, you guys saw right there firsthand the danger of morale breaks of one person in our team throwing it for the entire group. Kremel actually threw that fight for everyone. I can't believe we actually lived. I can't believe we all lived. Well, some of us. Because the second that he broke and started running, everyone had to watch as his character ate five free hits. And then everyone started to run. Good news is the people that are here are the ones that will continue to live on as heroes. Pickle Inspector. Uh, man, I, I'm actually amazed they're still here. Hang on. It shouldn't be possible for them to still be here, but uh, their stats have been boosted to 74 now with the sling perk. Well, oh, sorry. 54. <laughs> wow, all of our ranged characters are so shit, but they're still better than the ones who ran. How the fuck? Might as well take Bullseye. Oh, Stuffle. Who would have thought Oh, Stuffle would end up being the best one? Actually, not really all that surprising. But he needs more. Man, his morale rolls are terrible, though. Who would have thought Oh, Stuffle? Against all odds. Would be the only one to continue to survive. See, chat, in this game, though, like, genuinely, I'm not even fucking downtrodden about all that death because, like, it's so much easier to sustain this group with a smaller number of people. <laughs> and, like, now I just. Now I can just continue to get better units that I don't feel bad about uh, kicking and throwing out. And I get their clothes back. They'll hand in their stuff politely when they quit. So I got all their stuff back. So who cares? I say good riddance to them. Good riddance. Now we can simply survive even better. Uh, Smackdown, you just size and strength to bully weight to the prime position. Nah. I believe we want faint. We got tavern here. I technically need to feed everyone uh, alcohol. Uh, 28. Right, everyone feeling a little bit better? Some guys in the group are a little bit upset, but uh, they'll learn to be happy. Don't worry, chat. We're going to buy replacement characters that are way better than the losers that came here before them. Okay? Don't you worry. We're going to come back from this. And in some ways, the gear we got from this will end up being more beneficial than our old team even being alive. <laughs> and you may think... I'm lying, but I'm not. 
We want to keep our group a little bit smaller. We want better archer rolls if we can get them. Is the low morale from all the firing? I didn't fire anyone. They all quit. In hindsight, the only thing I should have done was uh, not fire uh, whoever I fired, uh, Kermel, until after we got here because everyone got low morale because I refused to pay him compensation because I don't believe he deserved it for almost getting us all killed. The news is we already have all the gear we need to replace uh, for everyone else. So, uh, I mean, we're not going to buy anyone out here, though. Actually, let's see what the stats are. Wild man, uh, Brynjolf, these, th th these guys are typically good, uh, frontline warriors, these miners. You should probably just hire these two. Then again, I should probably just go south and hire stuff there. Uh, grave robbers plundering the cemetery, not interested. Any trade stuff I can buy? She chat. Here's the thing: this game is actually fairly easy to come back from things because my the cost of supporting my team now is so much lower. Food goes down much slower now. We're about to get our contracts ambition completed, which will be really good for us. And and now like our overall cost per day is twenty eight dollars a day. A hint of murmuring grows louder and louder until you can no longer focus. You put your quill pen down with the sort of energy the ink bottle can take without breaking and step out of your tent. Hazari the Passable and Tomato Stream are standing there bickering over who's the better shot. Seeing you, chat, I'm not actually Tomato, okay? That's my avatar, but I'm someone else. I'm like the manager. Seeing you, they waste little time asking if they can hold a shooting contest. All right, fine. 60 ammo, huh? But both of their resolve goes up. Seeing as though their arguments will never end, you give them the go-ahead and they have their little competition before retiring to your tent. Soon thereafter, you hear the arrows knocking, releasing and finding targets. Things which go thwang soon go thwap, and the air is slowly filled with the din of a watching crowd. Who? And as you try to focus, you notice that the mercenaries have been shooting fervently for quite some time now. You step back out of your tent and find the two archers bickering some more, each one pointing a finger at the other before picking up an arrow and angrily launching it downrange. The targets aren't even targets anymore, but small bushes of arrow shafts upon which break every other shot that lands upon them. Shaking your head, you order the two to stop at once before they use every last arrow the company has. We have 22 left, which is fine because only one of my characters uses arrows. So who cares? I'll take permanent resolve boosts. Hammer guard. You guys got any trade shit here? Not really. Y'all got any decent characters here? Nail the monk. Baldwin. Uh, again, we want to go south before I hire anyone, frankly. I'm looking for jobs. Let me keep going this way. And exploring. This is a, when we have fewer people on your team, it's a very good time to explore. Because uh, you're not going to pay as much money and upkeep. Alright, cargo delivery. We'll take that. That's free money and that finishes our ambition. That's a fucking insane ripoff. Naked guy named Siegfried. Costs way too much upkeep for what he's worth. <laughs> We're not hiring any of you trash. Where's this cargo go? Back to Bokenberg. Okay. This is the live chat. All the old requirements and expectations of having a full squad. I'm free of them. I'm happy like this. I'm better than ever. Squad's been thinned and I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. Maybe the reason Tomatoes people are bad is because he hires cheap people. Well, no, because here's the thing. If you hire good people, they cost more upkeep, and then you never actually make any money. That's sort of a trick in this game. Say I hire fucking... Alarich. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. The fuck? Hang on a minute. Who the fuck do you think? Get out of here! Fuck that guy! He's trying to rip me off! Anyways, my ambition is done. 
When starting out, the world saw you for what you were. Ambition armed with a weapon. Everyone has a dream, and about half those men have weapons on them. You are not unique, not outstanding, not even particularly dangerous, but you're giving your old self a good look in the eye. If you're giving yourself an old look in the eye, but you made it. The doors shut in your face, the attempts at haggling that lost you good deals. The spitting, so much spitting. It's a cold world, and you dared to warm your own damn self, and you succeeded. Contracts under your belt, contracts on the horizon, they're blurring together. A culture of victory has started to wash over the pathetic POV. And you've good reason to be proud of your command of it. Imagine quitting, assholes. Uh, seek fame and fortune, fighting before the crowds that chant our names will draw blood in the arenas of the south. I have no idea how to find arenas. What we're gonna do is discover every settlement in the game. Missing a couple. Yeah, that's one that's easier to do when we have so few people. It's time to do some exploring. And while we're doing it, continue to deliver packages as a mailman. <laughs> this mail job is gonna make me a lot of money. Chad, a lot of capital. Well, officially, we'll make more money than it costs to upkeep this team. Isn't that exciting? Got another mail job for me? I love taking things to places. I love mailing things. All the way to Trogenstock? Why, I'd love to, sir. I thought you'd never ask me to go to... <gasps> okay, they're not coming my way. Now, frankly, I personally, as a one-man team, could probably kill those bandits. I'd like to have six. I'd like to be able to e like equal them in numbers before I do something stupid. They're fighting some. Good fucking luck, assholes. <laughs> I'm not fighting dire wolves. <laughs> Goodbye. Yo, take a job and keep moving as fast as we can. Uh, wait, what was it? Was this something about goblins? I'm not taking that. You got a delivery job for me? You got cargo jobs? Oh! A caravan job to the northeast! Provisions on the way are provided to your men! Guys, it's all about the renown game, you understand? Also, I'm not morally obligated to remain on this caravan job if, for instance, we are attacked by... It's so easy. All right. Direwolves don't fuck around on this difficulty chat. <laughs> you might think I'm being like a little shit. Actually, I don't want these guys to have armor because I need to hire new people now. It's probably time we hire some people. Wait, you're still here? I thought I told you you, were, you weren't ever coming on the team. But you, Falkrad. I hate pressing tryout on things. It's such a waste. I need people with low upkeep. Aegidius. 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 You're on. Not bad, man. Not bad. Welcome to the team. Who wants to be this miner? Dude, imagine not being a subscriber and volunteering. Um, just imagine that, dude. Scrang. You're in, man. And you are not bad. Chat, we don't work with oofs anymore, okay? <laughs> we are moving on past oofs. Oh, this guy's a manlet. Eh, whatever. We don't tolerate oofs anymore. Put this on. Sackcloth, no. Put on this uh, monk's robe.
Good, good. Good. That's good. Yeah, that's real good. And uh, take this shield and this spear, Skrang. What are your specialties? Slinging? You some sort of slinger? Technically, the pickaxe is pretty good if you uh, give it the right stat, talents, and etc. We'll see about it. I'm not going to throw it out yet. Uh, I want to hire at least one more guy. I want like seven people. These minor guys are pretty low upkeep, which is nice. I want low upkeep. I don't want to be paying people a bunch right now. So we're going to hire Aldrich. Who's also, all things considered, not bad. Uh, range defense is pretty good. Get a shield on you. Get some armor on you while you're at it. Welcome to the team. Uh, who is this man, though? That's the question. Uh... Resonox. Also not bad. We do not associate with oofs anymore. They do nothing but piss me off. Alright, so miners are definitely one of the better guys we can hire right now. Low upkeep. Low expectations. 30. 35. Okay. We continue on. If there's one, I want one more loser. I don't really want Duran. For now, six is fine. What kind of job is this? I should have read it before, except like even starting to click through it. I gotta stop doing that. All right, chat. <laughs> now I know what you might be thinking when you see this. You might, you're gonna say, fucking God, tomato. Whatever you do, do not buy more trade goods. These never pay off. But it's such a good deal right now, chat. It's so much, you, you, we make such a profit off of this right now. You know, chat, technically, wait, these cleavers are trash. Never mind, I was wrong. I was, I was wrong. Guys, guys, I know that what you, th I know you think I don't need this, but if I, gang, if it works out, I can make a lot of capital. Just take it to the, take it to the south, to the desert. Am I some kind of fucking loser? I'm so close to the desert. Take it to fucking, take it to, take it to the goddamn Azim Shab and make instantly money. Massive amounts of money, like instantly. Take like a day to get there. Or maybe even third wall. Third wall might even be better. Big money, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you fucking play the game. I see the doubters. I see people doubting every fucking step I take. They fucking say, oh, there's no way he's gonna make his goddamn money back again. Fuck you. But I'm gonna go even further. I go even farther south so a snake can wipe my entire team. It's time. We're actually all dead. If those things catch us, we're dead. Oh, wait, it's daytime. They go home at the day. Oh, those were bad. Those things could have killed us all so fucking quickly. Wait, the company halts and collectively turns their noses skyward. A thread of flavor is drifting on the wind. It's not grain, fruit, or who's, who's, who's wagon? <laughs> Natural musk. But instead, something more sickly sweet. You follow the skyward trail to a figure hunched double over a fire. A vast array of kitchen utensils are laid out in the same manner as a torturer lays out his instruments before beginning work. The figure shuffles slightly, exchanging a ladle for a spoon. Who the hell, who the hell is Wagon? 
Atlee misses the solid ground around them and tr tumbles perfectly into a dead bush, shattering the silence completely. There is enough for all of you, the figure retorts, failing to even twitch from the clash between fool and nature. The company emerges into the dim dancing light of the open fire. The smell is stronger now, but there's something else in the air that was not there before. With hands on weapons, you approach, and approaching slowly, the company enters the innermost ring of the fire. The fire no longer dances, instead it mopes and tumbles slowly on the stranger's face, who's still fixed on the stew mere inches from the tip of their, ranking, their rankling nose. Go on, sit down! Do, do you have new manners? They bark, startling you somewhat. It's best to sit. The stranger, now half illuminated by the tired flame, moves from their spot to fix eyes with you. They stare and wait, as if they were dissecting you mentally. The thickness of the air starts to become noticeable in this close to the ground. It feels like death. It feels like the stranger has just taken your hand and led you to your final rest. The stranger hangs a crooked grin. You want something to eat? Or are you looking for a real artist like myself? The grin becomes uncomfortably wide. Welcome. He's trash. He's a cannibal. Wait. So the guy that was talking was Ragan. So the, the game got like confused and gave him both the new person and the guy who's like falling everywhere. He's strong. He's dumb. Uh, well, he's here. Wait, what's his upkeep? Hang. Hold up. Hold up. Nine. Yo, guys, we got to fire Hazari, too, by the way. <laughs> hey, guys, we got to, like, fire some people in this fucking group. This guy ain't worth nine. He's instantly fired by me. Mm -mm. Not even going to bother naming him. Wait! Cannibals! Whoa, 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 whoa. Cannibals provide strange meat after a fight, like hanging out with butchers. May try to eat others. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that chance. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take that chance on that one, friends. Trading care of it. And nomads. If they attack that trading caravan, I get involved. Son of a bitch. I really need to get to that town. God damn it. They'll go after the trading caravan before me. Please. Let's go around them, man. Okay, they're coming right for me. But we're a little faster than them. If nothing else cuts... Is that... Oh, good. It's more nomads. They're, uh... Rakshad had nomad camp, which is why there's so many of them. Just get to the town. Oh my god, there's a fuck. Oh! Ah! 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 Wait. It's time. <laughs> it's time to get some free kills and money, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see if we can space this right. Remember, I'm allowed to quick load if this doesn't work. Initiate. Now we let them kill him for us. <laughs> Huck rocks at them chat. This is what's called a fucked map Okay, what we see here is the reason why you can reload in situations uh, is because It's an instant wipe for your whole team if uh, you are these people you just lose and that's not very much fun Now it's fun for them to be on the receiving end, but it's not very fun when it's the other side in a video game anyways what with them being on the receiving end? I sure hope none of our guys eat shit and die. Wait, who the fuck? Is, oh, that no, that's Scrang. Okay, that's someone we know. I was like, who the hell? Who's the cultist in their group? Okay, we're not gonna go anywhere near these guys because our this team, these regiment, they have guns. And last time someone shot a gun, it was a bad scene. Now check. Here's the thing. Here's the other side plan I have for the desert. 
Okay. I'm, uh, I might buy some indebted chat. I may, uh, may buy a couple of indebted, uh, to avoid the upkeep from, um, you know. I don't have to pay them a salary. Well, move on down. I can't believe Pickle Inspector is still alive. Like, what a fucking, what an unbelievable nightmare. <laughs> his brain's still peeking out from his skull, but he hits more than anyone else on the team. I hit more technically. Oh, Stuffle. Is, is these are really good for loot because even though obviously we're not winning as a result of our own hard work um these the, these guys will drop a lot of items for us which is you know money and or armor like the the gear that drops from the desert's better than anything you get in the rest of the game i swear to god now let's hope these archers don't shoot at us because we actually want that bow the composite bow okay they are in fact shooting at us uh, let's shoot, um, let's shoot back. Eat shit and die! Okay, that works too. We just want hits. It doesn't even really matter if we kill them, we just want hits. Once more. I said once more. God damn it, pickle! I'm not even, I don't even have space to complain. Because he's bra he's got a brain hole. He's got a hole in his brain. His brain is indented. He's got an indent. Oh no. <gasps> Killed two people. Neither of them were mine. It's okay. That gun's spooky though. Okay, Resinox. I know you're new. Wait, I'm not going down there. These guys are shooting guns at these people. I'm gonna stay right here. We'll stay right here for if that guy kills that indebted. But until then, we don't move an inch. I think some of my melee guys have throwing weapons. Oh my god. Shield drop. Alright, oh Stuffle. Let's see how your throwing arm is, oh Stuffle. Okay, he missed it. 61. Taking it. I'm freaked out by that gun guy. I don't feel good about him at all. He has to reload, though. Alright. I mean, it's a win. We're not gonna die here. But I gotta make sure no one catches any stray bullets. Can't afford any fucking injuries right now. Loser. Fuck you guys. Yeah, shoot at them. I just got fucking scrang. Looking at these guys. Oh, boy. It's happening. They're shooting into the crowd. <laughs> it's happening. They're all shooting into the crowd. Okay, well, I still get some free hits here. That's damn well what I'm gonna do. Yeah, dude, nice shit, Hazari. Hit him again, son of a bitch. And these guys are absolute psychopaths is the thing. These guys are psychos. I don't understand this faction. They're like just killing everyone. I don't know if like my team is one of the dead people. Like I swear to God, they might be. See, I'm, I was half hoping that one of these guys would die eventually, so I could peel the loot off of their bodies. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Unfortunately. But hey, you know... At least we look epic. As like a big team. 
Am I willing to sacrifice this indebted man's life in order to huck a javelin for a 5% chance at this nomad archer? Move! It's not a big deal, man. Am I willing to huck an axe at this nomad slinger? Son of a bitch. Am I willing to fire arrows into the crowd? If that's what it takes to get a sick fucking kill? Son of a bitch! Of course I am. Of fucking course I am, chat. Come on. The only downside to these big fucking faction fights is watching all these guys do their turns. I'm gonna watch these guys slowly fucking trudge along and shimmy on down the cliff into the ravine. They don't understand strategy enough to know we could have all stayed up here and hucked rocks at them for a thousand years and there's nothing they could do about it. Any day now, it'll be Hazari's turn. And then they'll get to do some real cool shit. I'm just waiting for when I throw something at one of these people and everyone turns around and starts shooting at my guys. Son of a bitch. Damn it. I gotta get a hit in. I'm moving into the crossfire. I gotta get a hit on this archer. Who was that? Who, I was there. I was, I was involved in that one. That one, I was there. Huck more rocks. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, man. I can, I can get closer, I can get closer. Yeah, motherfucker! We gotta get that kill. We have to secure the money. Move! Oh, that guy's going, that guy's got the same idea I got, chat. The archer's like running up the cliff. We're like going right, we're playing right into their dirty hands. Is that a mace with reach? Wow, that's pretty, that looks pretty good. Oh, he's down, man, he's down. Just like go to the bathroom while they're doing this right now. <laughs> Just another thousand years of turns. Any day now, they'll be done. Did this guy fucking, did this indebted man just cut me off? Oh, Resinox is pissed. Okay, he fucking blew it. All right. You better hit. Damn it! Couldn't even kill that guy you hit in the back. Shit. Anyone left to throw things at? It's just this archer. You think he's gonna like surrender? I'm not sure this team is gonna give them the chance to. This might take, I'm just gonna pass our turns. We're not getting that guy. It's all running up a hill to get this guy. It's not gonna happen. He's actually fighting back. Okay. Move up to get him. No one's moving. They're just gonna watch this guy. Oh no, gun guy. <gasps> He missed. Damn it! That would have been cool. He fucking missed. Looks like it's up to Scrang. Never mind, he's tired. Looks like it's up to Pickle Inspector. To... Looks like it's up to Resinox to stop this archer. Dead in his tracks. Everyone else move down. Resinox is about to end this once and for all. You guys wanna bet this guy with like the fucking gun spear 
shoots Resinox with this attack. His next attack, once Resinox moves in. You guys want like take a like a bet? I bet Resinox gets killed next turn. Ooh, spooky. Or Gun Guy. If we don't, Resonance gonna move right into the line of fire from Gun Guy as well. Some would say it's incredibly ill-advised to uh, move into the line of fire right now, but that guy did it too. I mean, again, those guys are indebted. Hey, fucking asshole. Hey! Resonance, get in there. Do not get, do not be a pushover. Whatever it takes. Oh, damn it, we're just out of range still. Get in there. <laughs> it's my kill. God damn it. I still don't have an angle. Guys, it's getting real close to gun guys turn. I'm only realizing now how easy it would be to kill this team if I had a full team. Most of these guys don't even carry fucking shields. Well, looks like it's about time for... Oh my god, he's been winning. Don't! Oh, he cut that guy! <gasps> Resonox, it's all your... No XP, huh? Did we get any loot? Uh, what did he do it for, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> why did he, uh, why did he, why did he even bother? Is like a good question to ask. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet. <laughs> I'm never gonna bother, that's for it. If you guys wanna go chase those assholes, you can. They are. Now to time to make some big money. $50 a pop off of that. People saying he'd never make his money back, otherwise known as delusional uh, losers, have lost yet again. To no one's surprise. I have to buy a, uh, I have to either buy, wait a minute, I'm not paying money for arrows. I'm a sling man now, like the rest of my family. We're, we're a sling. Squad, you see, not a. We don't. We don't bother with that. Okay. Paid a lot for that hunting bow. <laughs> we'll go back to it, but right now I don't have any extra ammo. That's the last twenty arrows. I'd rather not. Fuck, dude. Here seems like a good stopping point, to be honest. Chat. There is a possibility I may do a small, insignificant amount of trading off stream for the next session. I'm not gonna do any fighting, but I might do like, I might spend like six days of game time just doing some quick trades. Get us some money. Stabilize, not hire anyone, just stabilize because I need to do like a tiny bit of trading, I think. Nothing will change over the course of that amount of time and I'm not gonna get any fights, so. I think that'd be a good idea. Since right now, basically, I can't I can't do much without making some money, like ma like just building a bit of capital. So I may I may do that off stream. Either way, fun game, and this time I did not wipe. Can you open the deaths screen? Which one of these is that? Ah yes. Let us all not forget. Wow, when you look at all the stat spread here, it is sort of depressing. Uh, some of these people we lost. Um, fuck Humila and Womberjack. They quit, they can go to hell. All right, everyone do like, everyone spit at them. All right, you don't have to, they can go to hell. All right, but let us never forget Wungus, who did not deserve it. What happened to them? Clubbed to death by a barbarian thrall. Swanky pants, impaled. By a barbarian thrall. Grey Griff, impaled by a barbarian thrall. T Fark, impaled by a barbarian thrall. 
Motho, clubbed to death by a barbarian thrall. Gazo Lago, stoned by a nomad slinger. And Sindis, who participated in zero battles and was in the company for one day, somehow still technically was clubbed to death by bandit rebel. Elsewhere, he went to the bathroom and got jumped. We had nothing we could, we, there's nothing we could do for him, unfortunately. He died on his own. Now, chat, I would say uh, this campaign is not over by a long shot, okay? The most important thing in this game is not having a big fat, like big company. It's about building rep because that rep is what gets you better deals at uh, like towns, better trades, better values for the things you buy. The most important thing is being able to finish jobs. So uh, we're not done here. It may look grim with the smaller team, but we ain't done by a long shot. What I'll do off stream is probably discover every town to get my other ambition done, which will boost our renown again by a ton, and then it'll be very easy to come back from it. We're making good time, technically. Resinox, thanks for the fucking 10 gifted subs. But yeah, I gotta wrap up now because uh, I gotta stream tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I'm streaming a lot this week. Uh, Cataclysm is coming up soon. Uh, impending. It won't be tomorrow, but it's impending. Tomorrow is... Today's Saturday, right? Today's Saturday. Tomorrow is Ranch Simulator with Dave. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna farm, brother, me and Dave. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, that'll be at the normal time. I'll be starting at 3.30. That game is crusty, and it will be a good time. I've been longing for another crusty co-op game. That game will be crusty as hell. I think you guys will like it. Um, Monday... Who knows? Might be more of this, might be Cataclysm. Depends on how I'm feeling. Is it a Dynasty game? No. I don't, I don't even think I want to explain it right now. It's a game about ranching, brother. All right, that's all you gotta know. It's a game about ranching. Uh, Monday is a free day. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing that day. I don't have a plan yet, but it could be anything. It could be a surprise. It could be anything. Uh, and Tuesday, provided I decide to stream it if I'm not tired, uh, is the finale of Pulsar. But either way, we will be doing it, whether I stream it or not. Uh, so, Tuesday is Pulsar's finale. I'm probably going to be streaming. So, that'll be Tuesday. Chat, uh, a lot of people gifted a lot of subscriptions to the channel today. Uh, thank you all so much for that. Matho, thanks for the five gifted subs. Marekt, five gifted subs as well. Lapines, five gifted subs. Some of you died uh, in the battles. Oh, and if you were someone that ran, make sure to remember, uh, separate yourself from your character in the game. Obviously, I shouldn't have to say it. <laughs> I am, separate yourself from those two beings. Please, I've had like in the past with like Darkest Dungeon, I'd yell at a character and people are like, you tomato got so fucking mean at me, dude. <laughs> Separate yourself from the uh, not real being that is pixels on the screen. Uh, because boy, oh boy, even unli more unlike Darkest Dungeon, this game has a fucking way of making you so mad at one person because one person in a group of 20 can have so much impact on the result of an entire fight. We outnumbered those barbarians by double and we still almost all died. The only reason we didn't wipe is exclusively because of how much armor my character was wearing at the time, because I was able to stand there and eat hits from that barbarian for three turns until the archers came back from breaking. That's the only reason we lived after that break. But yeah, uh, I someone else just gifted more fucking subs. Assault pineapple with another 10 <laughs> gifted subs. Thank you so much. Honestly, so many gifted subs. Thank you all so much for that. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for wretch simulator. It's gonna be cursed. And we will be back with this. With any luck. Um, 
I'm going to do a time bit of grinding off stream to make sure that we are good to go. I'd rather not spend an entire additional four hours next stream recovering what we lost. So you guys will probably come back to maybe a couple more characters. I won't be doing any fighting, but I might hire a couple people once I've uh, done some jobs just to keep just to keep stuff from being too boring. And then we will we will continue on this journey. I will see you guys then. I'm out. I gotta get some food in me. Might buy some sinful bell if I know what's good for me. See you tomorrow. Thanks for all the gifted subs. You guys are real swell. Bye.